Okay. Greetings. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, hello. Hello, hello, Hi, hello. Buongiorno. Salutations. DiGiorno. <laughs> We're all having a breakdown. Oh my god. Better hey. ingredients, better pizza. Alrighty. Better bitches. Welcome better everybody money. to Dungeon Select. We're here. We're back. And we're Dungeon back with Campaign Select. 2. Yay. After having missed last week and the week before, we did our, uh, our, our anniversary where we brought back the... Uh, First campaign character. It was a, a lot of fun, by the way. That session I, I enjoyed quite a lot. It was intense. Stressful. Good time. Stressful. I nearly died. Soko realized how shitty it is to have that many spells. Mm -hmm. It's about an hour of the session. It's just Soko yelling, I have too many spells! <laughs> but other than that... Uh, <laughs> I get sent away again. Yeah. Twice, yeah, it's always Koiba. I, I talked to Koiba about this. It's, it, I don't do it on purpose, but it's just... You're in a fight, Hilarious. and you have this fucking barbarian paladin that can just deal 90 damage in one swing. You're gonna want to have to deal with him at some point, so a banishment spell is just the way to do it. It's either that or a power word kill, you know what I mean? Like, mm. So, you know. Which would you prefer? Uh, yeah. I mean, the man already well, disintegrated to me once in campaign, so I'm mean, gonna true. fucking do it again, isn't he? Um, but we're back. It didn't stick, though, did it? So well, You guys, you know, at, at the end of the day, won the fight. And uh, it was a good time. It was a, it was a fun time just bring back the old characters and uh, tie up one of their loose ends that uh, weren't tied up during the campaign. Um, but we're back for campaign two, session 43. Uh, the gang is uh, still aboard the porcupine on their way to a, 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 a few uncharted islands where supposedly the lair of... Uh, one of Umberly's many, like, hideaways slash lairs on the material plane. Uh, this one in particular guarded by her undead champion called... Old? John. Uh, Evan Evan High Castle, an undead pirate champion of Umberly. I was close enough. Um, <laughs> you Very ran close. into, um, what seems to be... A, a, a pirate superstition, but very, very much that, that ends up being very much real. Uh, three bad omens: uh, the first one taking the form of a ghost ship, the second one taking the form of a, a war vessel emerging from the water to try and take your ship down, and the third one, supposedly something to do with a big bird that will try and swoop Doesn't your exist. ship away. Uh, so big having met and bird. having met two of the three and best the two of the three. Omens, it is uh, just a matter of time before Omen number three shows up. Um, day Besties. four of your uh, travel, of your five-day travel. What do you guys want to do? You're on the deck of the ship. Uh, it's a clear sky, quite warm. The water oh. seems uh, pretty tame, pretty, pretty calm. What do you guys want to do? Oh, it's time to take your pills. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon Kai's just behind the wheel again. There he says most of the time. Wheel again. Why oh, is yeah. my pen so sticky? Just oh. that, <laughs> was it on your Why desk? is your pen so More. sticky? <laughs> Where has it been? <laughs> Where are you smelling it? it? It's sovereign glue. You can so I can discern what the stickiness is. <laughs> Maybe I... it's food. Lick it. Yes. Lick it. I'm just not, the not gonna lick it because I don't lick know it. how long it has been sticky. <laughs> but there's just a little bit of sticky sh muck or something. I like the what idea that while he was getting a major surgery, someone's just gone into the room, stickied his pen, and then not done anything else. Yeah, just stickied his pen. We've played D&D &D since then. Oh, put a little syrup on it. Did Although I didn't use the, the pen. pen. I didn't use the pen that session because it was a one-shot, so I wasn't really taking notes. So maybe go. someone stickied it. my pen. <laughs> All right. So, like I said... Calm day, calm skies, calm water. Pretty warm, like a dry heat. Not very, not very humid per se. On the sea? Yeah. Nice. Is That's there odd. any particular carpentry shit that I have to do? Uh, at Everything this point, okay? no, because uh, most of the damages uh, that were suffered during the fights with the uh, the warship, the war galleon, um, you, you've patched up in a way of it remaining functional. Um, if you wanted to, I suppose you could try your hand at seeing if you can fix the damages on, say, the ballistas or the or the mangonels. 
Uh, are any of them inoperable? Uh, I believe... I don't believe any of them are inoperable. There's just a, a couple that are looking like, dude, one bad gust of wind and it's probably done. Fucking... If it's not gonna take me all day, I'll try and fix the bitches. <laughs> if it's not gonna be hard work, I'll do it. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's Brooks. Yeah. Um, make a... Um... If it's optional and it's easy, then sure. Just make a, make a slight hand check. Or get advantage for any particular reason? No. Damn it. If I can see him trying to go there, can I send Chip that way? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Chip is just gonna be on the shoulder, be like, prepare, prepare, to try to give some uh, is that, to is that help the help action. action? Is, is Chip yep. using the help action? Fair enough. Yep. Fair enough. Fair enough. Somehow there's this bird, there's this this uh, parrot, I believe, landing on your shoulder, just repeating, repair, 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 in your ears, makes you do better. Believe it or not, it didn't help. Oh. Mm -hmm. I rolled one, I then rolled again, it was shit. Um, but the first roll is a 22. Yeah, uh, takes a few hours, but you managed to uh, repair the uh, damaged weaponry to the point of them not falling apart anymore, at the, just merely at the slightest damage that it might, it might suffer in the future. Uh, you reckon it'll survive at least a couple of uh, hits? How fast is the ship traveling, like, roughly? Give me a second. At least seven. Nine knots. That's fucking fast. Yeah. Got the wind That's uh, really fast. This ship is like currently is, is sailing at a, a five miles per hour. Not possible. Five miles per hour. <laughs> yes. okay. Not possible. A bit faster sure. doing anything I had planned. That's fine. Oh, nine knots is roughly ten miles per hour, so there you go. Okay. If you're going twice that, um, then nine knots. Okay. At that point, uh, Celeste kind of walks around the deck of the ship, um, approaching Kai. What do you just mean? Um, Kai. Yes. You've traveled with with you know you've had some more time with these with these people, right? A little bit longer, not much longer. A few days, have you, you know, you, you, any judge of character, do you, do you reckon... It's, I got this note, you know, and it's, it's a bit weird. What kind of note are we talking about? And she'll uh, take out the notes out of her uh, pocket, and I quickly need to open Discord on my phone, because I don't have the notes here. I actually. forgot about this! <clears throat> Quickly, I didn't. I also so. forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> the, the legendary action that was the end of the last session. Hold on, I'm quickly uh, find the notes I in want my it DMs. To be known that canonically, wait, was it the this. end of the last session? Mm -hmm. Basically, right? Yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah, yeah, it was the end. Did you guys of the not? Last did you guys not play that session without me? Without no, no. Yeah, we did. Oh, did we? Yeah. Yeah. Was there not one surgery. session without me? We had one session oh, without no, true, him, true, we true. said specifically yeah. that we weren't going to deal with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, true, correct, 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 hold on. Sorry, I said last session with all of us. Wow, well, we're it's not all not here all now. Us, oh, we're not so... Yeah, Laura is uh, at, a, at a wedding, right? Probably, I don't know. No, no, it's got like 20 Canadian weddings this year. They won't be getting right? married. Yeah, oh, right, 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 right. I mean, she does have like 20 weddings, so these past She's currently playing D&D Munchkin, right? Critical Role Munchkin specifically, I think. Same thing. He didn't BDM too much, bro. I what? BDM too much. <laughs> you pinned oh, it, I'm you? sorry that I... Should have okay. fucking pinned it. Uh, I should have. Wait, did I? Hold? Just control F something that you know is in the letter. I'm literally on my phone. I'm literally... I'm, then I'm use the search it. function. Yeah, I'm use going the search to function. Pin it. Discord has I'm a search function. Pin it. <sighs> Man. We need like a loading screen with like fun facts. Like, got it. did you know? Got it, got it, got it, got the grappling got it, got it, rules got it, got it, got are the most BS in D&D 5e history. Uh, she'll present you with a note, Kai. Mm -hmm. That says, Dearest Star Mommy, don't, <laughs> don't tell That's Onu, good. but you're the only bird for me. You're lookout admirer, Davian. You're my Dude, guiding. wait, hold on. You're my guiding star. That's, oh, that's good. 
That's good. <laughs> that See, I, was, I thought it was going to be sabotage, but this is like a perfect si- setup. That's a sick wingman, yeah. This is a perfect springboard into that <laughs> star pussy. Okay. You're welcome. Does this seem like something... Like, is this, is this weird? Astro Lussy. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Would you say I've spent more than enough hmm. time around the group that I would probably know it's a, it's a prank? Make an insight check. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. How well does he know Davian's flirting technique? That's true. Does anyone know Davian's flirting Sounds technique? Sounds like Davian to me, dude. For 16. No, I... 16? <laughs> um, well, you've never encountered uh, any of the, the people in, in, in situations like this before. So you wouldn't know how they would act in 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 case of you know having a crush on someone or whatever. Um, so you're not sure, to be quite honest. Come on, a 16 isn't enough to know. This group's full of fucking pranksters and goofs and gangsters. <laughs> like, yeah, no. are we? But with that, you do know that there are a couple of people in the group that would enjoy a bit of mischief. Fucking hell. But you don't know. You you cannot say for certain that this is one of those instances. That cheeky bastard. Can I see? or Brooks on the deck somewhere. Brooks is at this point just busy repairing the, the mangonel and He's the listers. Hammering. Uh, where would you say Kess would be right now, uh, Bell? Uh, what time is it? Like, like, morning. She will be in Dashu's vessel. Okay. There you go. You see Brooks hammering away okay. at, the, uh, at the weaponry. Just, just glance over the deck with a bit in. Like I said, not been spending too much time around him, but mm-hmm. he seems like the guy who would write about like that. See, I don't know whether to find this adorable a bit or disturbing. <laughs> I mean, that's all for yourself to figure out. Right. I cannot speak for you for the way you feel, but I've been called Star Mommy before. It's a nice guy with some quirks. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. She'll pat you on the shell, avoiding the sharp fucking barnacles, <clears throat> and uh, she'll fuck off back uh, to the lower deck. Is Davian uh, at his position in the crow's nest? Crow's nest, baby. Okay. Um, Leaning on the railing, jacks. throwing fucking, oh, just throwing shit. No news going, <laughs> I'm catching it. You know, it's sort of. I'm helping us keep us on course while also tinkering. Ooh, what are you tinkering? I'm, uh... Uh, looks like a little, Asleep, little pair of boots. Okay, that's all it is right now. Okay, okay, okay. I'm in my hammock. Right, as you would, <laughs> you lazy bastard. Yeah. No, I'm having a nice cruise after the trauma I've had for the past fucking two weeks. <laughs> Pleasure cruise. It's someone else's turn to go cut his hammock down. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but I'm asleep in my hammock, but I'm definitely not just awake, staring at the door, just waiting for someone to come in to be like, try it, you fucks. <laughs> Every once in a while, like... just one of the random crew members comes in and just sees you staring at the door and just... Just like slowly back, back, uh, back out. Like, like I stand on, just go. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I'm just gonna. I can see Brooks like dinner time, be like, my hammock. What's my hammock like? <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. So. Um... Yo, can I expand on Kes being in Dash's vessel? Of course. Is he around? Uh, when was the last time you went in and he wasn't? True. <laughs> like, when was that? Was that, like, last mm. night or whatever? I think so. Mm. So then in that case, he's, he's not around, no. Okay. It's kind of vibing cool. on that beach side that you've now, that you're now very familiar with. Yeah. Also, <laughs> do the rules uh, for how long I can s- spend in there, like, go, like, I would continue with my level up? Or is that one just, like, constantly... So, like, because I leveled up, like, a while ago, um, I can now stay in the vessels for... How long? Four hours or something? I can't remember. 
Um, so can I also spend the same amount of time in that one? Well, instead of the we established four before hours that before. Dashu's vessel isn't actually a vessel. It's just merely a teleport yeah. to a different plane. So you can spend as much oh, time cool. there as you want. Ah, oh, uh, Because it, it just it's mainly just made to look like a vessel, so you recognize what you know what it's for. You know, kind of. You know what mm. I mean? It's, okay, it's not cool. actually a vessel like the one you uh, yeah. you have. You can only yeah. afford four hours rent in your own place, but you can mooch off your parents forever. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> My electricity bills going out, man. Um, anything you want to do in there, or are you just gonna sit and vibing? I'm just gonna vibe. Okay. Okie dokie. She gets to have a beach day without us. It's bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She, Every episode's fucking... a beach episode for Cass. Mhm. Mm Quite literally. Okay. Uh, at some point, um, throughout the day, um, Davian. That's me. It's about it's about noon. They'll they'll pass noon right now. Uh, make a perception check. See a star mummy coming towards you. <laughs> 17. 17? <clears throat> you hear this very f slight, like, whistle tone. Like a bird singing. And this small robin lands on your shoulder. You know, you know what a, ro a robin, like a small little bird with like the red chest and like yeah, the, with the red chest, yeah. yeah. Weird time of year to see a robin. And it just kind of, it just kind of, you know, <laughs> just kind of sque squeaks and and. I mean, I'll use my, I'll use my, speak with animals. Uh, yeah, I'll use because I think I get it for once a day for free. So yeah, yeah fuck it, I use speak with animals. Uh, I, weird place to see a robin. Um. Can I help you? The robin looks at you. No. What are you doing here? In the crow's nest of the ship or here on the sea? On the sea. Uh, sailing, as far as I can tell. The robin will kind of like flutter up. And you're a 70 degree perception, right? Yeah. You notice that some of his feathers are starting to kind of ruffle, like kind of like ruffle up a little bit as the robin grows in size and just keeps on growing, keeps oh. on growing to the size of an unnaturally big. And at this point, you all see as the small bird just keeps expanding and expanding and turns into this titan sized rock that just. Rock. R rock. Yeah. R As in R O C like a bird. Yeah, not a fucking yeah, boulder. Like a boulder. Right, 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 right. Uh, oh. Just Titan, Kirby boulder. Titan size, which means twice as big as, as what Gargantuan would be. Wingspan about the ship itself. Wings, it's like wingspan yes. about as wide as you know from, from front to back of the ship. And it just it just looks at you. Do you still speak with animals up? Yeah, oh, of course I do. Uh you notice that throughout his his, his transformation. Um, he's living the Vida Loca. You notice that suddenly he's still making sounds to you, but you don't understand anymore. Okay. Because at some point it went from beast and turned into something else. Uh, and it's just this, this, like I said, titan sized wingspan. Yeah, this thing's blocking out the sun. Blocking out the sun. This just the entire ship is engulfed in shadow. And you all look up as you can see. There's this 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 bird, the size of your fucking ship, hovering above, and it just lands its two feet, just, uh, or like it's two like uh ah, feet, I guess, Alan's. on either side of like you know one on the port side, one on the starboard side of the ship, and just kind of like claws in, and it's beginning to, and your ship like, not... slowly begins to rise. He's stealing it. Is he taking off with the ship? We're being was, kidnapped. Guys, I think this might Airship be the now. bird! I'd say, at this point, when, like, I assume, like, because Alazan's just chilling downstairs. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you feel <laughs> like, like rocking. When, and... when, when for the rocking, I would be, I'll, I'll probably start when going up. Like, it, is what Elazan the bloody hell's like, going on up there? Elazan sat in his quarters Holy and, like, a talon <laughs> comes through the wall. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? Snap your hammock. Uh, Captain Fiero comes, like, bursting out of, out of her quarters, looks up. Oh, fuck. I would like you guys to roll initiative. 
Yay! I mean, do I even need to roll? What do we yeah, do here? Twenty. Ooh. Sassy chose all my dice today, so oh, I fuck. rolled badly. Oh fuck! Laura's cursed me. No. I actually rolled good. I didn't. I've got the curse of Laura. Nice. I, I, have I did my... actually roll pretty good. I have Thank the reverse Sassy. of my curse. The reverse of your curse. My reverse of my curse. I rolled a nineteen and a twenty. I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> So, I rolled two dice, and I didn't decide which one was for Brooks and which one was for Tygen. Oh, oh, you choose now. Yeah, I was gonna say, pick now. Uh, Who is it? For Brooks. Left or right? Right. Left. You cunt. Shouldn't have asked me then, should you, dickhead? Sure. <laughs> should have asked this me. means to demands you choose, you should right. Okie dokie. Uh, initiative 20 or higher. Natural 20 for 23. Dirty 20. 23 for Elaz oh, run. Dirty 24 well, Kess. Yes. Anyone else? 20 plus? 15 to 20. 16. 16. Ooh, 19. 19. He definitely has a higher dex. That's true. <laughs> 19 yeah. for... We oh, don't so need to ask that question. Me. It's just me getting dragged down. Yeah. Kai, 16 for I Jax. I mean, 16 for Jax is pretty fucking good, actually. <laughs> I know. Really good. For That's a nat 18, right? Sorry? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry, that means a nat 18, yeah. Uh, yeah anyone else? No. 15 to 20? It's just me left, right? Oh, no, it's Belsa. Uh, well, time. I mean, Daigon as well, right? Oh, well, yeah, and, me. And Chip. And Chip, true. And Thorn. Thorn got a 12. So 10 to 15? 12 for Thorn. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, 5 to 10? <laughs> Dagon got a 9, and Brooks got a 6. Okay. They both have plus 4. What a chip cut? A 2. He's there in spirit. He's, he's there just chilling. Like, okay. He gets to watch all of his friends die. So right now, as it stands, your ship hasn't lifted out of the water yet, but you definitely feel that it's in the process of, of slowly being pulled out. It's even for, the, for a bird this big, it's a large ship pretty heavy, so it's not gonna just fucking yeet you and, and, and send you up like hundreds of feet in, in a short amount of time, but it's slowly that the process of lifting you out of the water. Uh, and yeah, this very much seems like the third omen, this this this, ba this uh, bird big enough to steal a ship, is uh, something along the lines of what, what you were told. Uh, so, top of the initiative, Yay. Elazarin. What the oh. fuck do you do? I, as an action, I put up the dome. And then I will bonus action spiritual weapon, and I'll put it like right next to the fucking creature's like face. Okay. Well, is that sixty feet away? How I assume it's sixty feet away, right? That fucking thing, the face. Uh, let me quickly give you the the, the specifics. Um. Uh... No, it'll be as close as I can get to it. Sixty feet. It's, um, let's see. Titan is supposed to be twice as big as Gargantuan. And Gargantuan means... Gargantuan is 20 by 20, so this is 40 by 40. Yeah, so uh, when they stand, they can... Yeah, about 60 feet sounds about right. 60 feet high is kind of where where, where the face oh. of... Uh... Oh. Then I will put it up to its face, and I will attack with a spiritual weapon. Go for it. Uh, that's a 25 to hit. That hits. God, if he said misses, I've been like gulpers. It's a very big, uh, it's very yeah. big, man. It's very hard to miss. Uh, for 11 points of force damage. 11 points of force damage, all right. So you summon your spiritual weapon, which is still the, the golden nunchucks, I'm assuming. Yeah, still the golden nunchucks. Uh, so they appear beside the, the, the rock's uh, head and just fucking <laughs> thwack him. And it, it kind of slightly flinches when it takes the impact, but it's it's still just like, it's you can see it working to try and lift the ship up. In my sort of best attempt, I'm just going to try and place myself why it's the most centrally to everyone. Mm -hmm. um, and then that would be That would probably turn. just be the slap bang, like by the mast. By the mast, yeah. yeah. We'll be holding onto it for support as we're like being lifted up. Okay, okay. Cool. And I give myself 7 temp HP. Alrighty. Uh, that makes it Cass's turn. Okay. Uh, for my action, I'm gonna cast Major Armor on myself. 
Very good. And then for my bonus action, I'm going to cast Hex on it. Okay. Which, uh, or stat, would you like it to be, would you like to be affected by it? Strength. Okay. Good to know. And um, then I'm going to move up to its feet, if I can. I, I mean, it's, uh, pick one. There's one Talon, like, on the left-hand side of the, the, the port side of the ship and one on the starboard side of the ship. It's like, 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 nestled in, clawing. And you can see where it's, like, put pressure. It just, like, broke through the, through the floorboards and it's just, like, ha- grasped on, on the ship. I'm going to say starboard because I like that word better. Fair enough. Okay. Um, Very good reason. Davian, Thank you. you're still in the crow's nest. Yes, sir. Yeah. Not quite face to face with it anymore, but definitely closest to to its face, to its to its beak. Um, it is. This is something unlike you've never seen before. You've seen of all manner of beasts and creatures in your time as 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 you know hunt uh, as uh, hunter as a ranger for uh, for for your the expedition that that you kind of led back in the day when you first got to um, to to traveling. This, this continent, but this is unlike anything you've seen. Is Kesta within 30 feet? It's very good. Uh, yeah. Cool. You get 9 temp HP. Woo! That one won't be in it. Cringe. <laughs> Let's go sit. Unless it snaps the crow's nest off. Yeah, I see. Um. This crow's nest is less than 30 feet tall. Um. I imagine this thing's pretty strong, huh? Maybe. Sorry? I said I imagine this thing's pretty strong, It's huh? attempting to lift a ship out of the water, so yeah, probably. But it does yeah. have a strength hexed. Yeah, but that's... Uh, on shit. average, by the way, a crow's nest is only like 13 feet above the... Uh... Really? No. Yeah. yeah, apparently, according to the Googles. Fair enough. I guess it's a what? Break fucking how it. fucking big is this? Don't shit the bed! <laughs> What'd you say, Dutch? Like the crow's nest height wise above uh, the ship. It's 30 feet. It, it says... depends on the size of the ship, I suppose. Uh... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Never mind. It, go, reference it, var- it varies. Go. The reference here, this 66 is what we decided, yeah. It's like slap bang and the average 66 high. 66. Okay. So, yeah, no, you're actually, you would be face to face with it, actually. Like, it's it's right there looking at you. That's not terrifying at all. <laughs> um, like the most fucking two-story bird houses. from Wind Waker. Most two-story houses in the UK are like 15, 20 feet tall. That's how big your dome is. There you go. These planets, da, 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 Christian, yeah, see, it's a strength saving throw, not a check. If I, were to, if I were to just throw down and tangle, it's not going to give a shit. Um, so I guess... Uh, Hold on, I need I need to do some math. What's what like the average damage of shooting it versus the average damage of what are we playing? Three point five. My dude pulling out a calculator. That's yeah. Oh, fuck it. I will um. Condition, bro. I'll double Eldritch blast it. Okay. I'll find it maybe. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, one is a an eleven, but the other is a twenty-two. Eleven misses, twenty-two hits. So you shoot one Eldritch Blast, and it just kind of like zooms past him. A little intimidated by how large this this, this monstrosity of a bird is. The second one, you, you just kind of focus up a little bit, and you slam an Eldritch Blast in the side of its face. The first one was just a joke. It's fine. It's a distraction. Seven points, false damage. I was like, don't I get a plus modifier? But that's only if you have like an Eldritch Invocation or some shit, right? So yeah. it's just straight seven points of false damage. Okay. And fucking... Onu gonna go fucking bird on bird, I guess. <laughs> swoop in and swoop out quick as he can. Uh, with a uh, dirty twenty to hit. It's yep. I just got a, a which is a D four plus something. Fuck. Two plus three plus three, so eight points of slashing damage and then he he flies away again okay Uh, the the rock still very much uh like you can see it flinch whenever it takes hits 
but it's still very much focused on 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 trying to grab hold of the ship properly. Mm. Uh, okay. okay, that's my turn. Kai. Are we? How far up in, in the air are we? Uh, you're not moment. lifted yet. Like, or you just, is, or is you just, just kind of felt the fact that the ship is slowly rising out of the water, okay. but you're still in the water at this point. I will cast Blindness on the bird to see if I can blind the fucker. It's a constitution well, now save, that we are right? not dead. Yeah, constitution save. Now that we're not too high up. Uh, case. That is... A dirty 20. Motherfucker bitch. Okay. Um, well, that doesn't work. So I will um, use my movement to uh, go to the same side where Cass is. Starboard side, alright. And just uh, grab my sword and that's my turn. Okay. So you can see, uh, and Davi and you especially have a, have a good view of this. You can see that like the eyes of the rock cloud over for like a second. And then it just kind of blinks and you can see that the fogginess of the cloud the clouds disappear again i don't like being at eye level with this thing yeah i mean you're up there man <laughs> basically think of uh good job webbed when you get up into the like fucking crow's nest and it's like peeking through the <laughs> peeking through the cracks in the like nest and shit it's fucking spooky right. it is now this rock's turn and it is going to oh, multi-attack no, it is going to first uh yeah i mean the rock has a uh, better dex than, than no. you do fortunately <laughs> everything fucking has a better oh, dex than i do exactly even a rock does how oh, you get six temp hp there you go so it's going to multi-attack uh, firstly it's going to go with its beak and its beak is aimed right at you davian it's just going for a fucking proper, oh, a thanks. proper peck love that for me uh that is a 27 to hit uh, just hits, yeah, okay. Jake, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's just hits. Yeah, that's unfortunate, man. That's unfortunate. You got a pretty good AC, mm. right? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> it's the, all that dex. So you take... Uh, 14, 19. You take 29 points of piercing. No, 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 no. 25 Ooh. points of piercing damage. Okay. Oh, well. <laughs> mm, I'm bloodied. <laughs> <laughs> And then, with one of its wings, it's going to uh, kind of cleave both Kai and uh, Kes, who are both like at, its, at, the, at the starboard placed Talon. You, 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 oh, you both shit. just kind of like... You see this wing coming coming towards you. Let's roll to hit this. Uh, it's a 20-something, 20 28 to hit Kes, and a dirty 20 to hit Kai. Yeah, that hits. So you both just get fucking clipped. By by its wing. Um shit. Oh, 15. You, you both take 24 points of slashing damage. As the wing just <laughs> slices and the feathers feel as sharp as a thousand knives, just cutting 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 through you. So 24 points of slashing damage each. Jeez. That bitch. And uh Man. for its movement, it's slowly going to rise up. And the ship at this point, at the end of its turn, it's about 10 feet above the water. Okay, one to plan B. Uh, and that is its turn. Uh, Jax. I need the constitution saving throw. Okay. Oh, that's bad. Uh, eight. Ooh. Oh, wait, no, I lied. Awesome. Uh, 12. So he fails. Mm -hmm. And out of like my gauntlet, you, see, you know, like those like mystical like vortexes that usually like suck like characters into like books or something like that in tv shows and shit sure yeah that comes out of my gauntlet sucks the rock in to my gauntlet and shoots it 90 feet away let's say south what uh, from where on the ship i have a question uh-huh what is the spell you're casting i'm assuming this is a spell. vortex warp vortex warp what does the it do you say when i use the teleport you mean the one that you use to teleport the chest that you are holding back to the ship with you yeah. So the ship, I'd, the, the I rock. I can send any 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 creature. Right, but it's holding on to the chest, to I'm the saying. ship. What happens just to... like you are oh, holding on to the shit. chest. I don't... 
You want you do, do you going want to into the water, this? boys? Do you want to rethink this? I must succeed. I do want to rethink this. Okay. Did not think about that. Okay. No, okay. okay. I was going to ask what happens to items that the rock is carrying <laughs> when the spell is cast. Uh, okay, let me so read that real quick. This. Yeah, that's. <laughs> I was just like, oh, dude, I could just set it away from the ship. That's so good. <laughs> That's like a huge movement I mean, speed. it's 40 feet. The just the whole crew just gets dumped in the water and the rock just fucks off yeah. with the ship anyway. Like, it was in the water. Like, great. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a chance to rethink this, so go. We won't die to the rock. No, you'll drown. Thoughts? No, we drops the ship we won't. Don't bring Dwayne Johnson into this. <laughs> yeah, dude, I was waiting for that joke to rock. fucking land at some point. <laughs> Okay, uh, instead, um... He'll cast water talk on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> I guess... Oh, I, I... Fuck, dude. I'm, like, so thrown for a loop now. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. God damn it. You don't have nearly as much nice choice one, as you idiot. had with Morbin last time, so, you know, you're good. No, I know, but the <laughs> problem like, is I'll it's trying to decide, do I try to, like... Savin, you were bloodied, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cass, are you bloodied? Uh, no. If I do that, I can't heal him this turn. Fuck, just let me cast two spells in a turn. That nope. Work. All right. Um, I'm going to use my bonus... I'm gonna use my bonus action to. The crow's nest is how high up? I just wanna make sure I'm within range. 66 feet? Yeah. 66? Yeah, so we'll say 65 me, for the sake of DD measurements. Don't right? tell me I am five feet away from being able to kill. No, 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 listen, because you are like seven feet tall. Yeah, that's true. You're si It's 65 feet above the deck of the ship. So arm extends. So I guess I am. You're 60 feet away, I'll say. Your arm extends another foot, so like, you know. Okay. I'll say that you're 60 feet um, away to keep it within d, &D It doesn't measures. matter, it's a 30 foot spell. Okay. Uh, oh. Okay. Could you match up to if I like 30 feet? Just climb halfway up the crow's nest. Climbing is half your normal speed? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, you got action to move. This game's okay. It's a bonus yes. action cast, right? <laughs> so sorry. Use your action to dash. Climb halfway up the fucking crow. Can I see Davian? Oh uh, yeah. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna cast Vortex Warp on Davian. Okay. Oh. So if you'd like to fail the save, feel free. If you'd like to roll against the Constitution saving throw, feel free. No, just. Fucking take me out of there, dude. Okay. I'm fucked. <laughs> take I will me out. instead pull Davian into my gauntlet and teleport him next to a Lazarin. Okay. I pull him into the water. The Davian, you just kinda <laughs> get gets sucked into this 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 vortex of just swirling energy and you just psh, appear next to a Lazarin at the at the base of the of the mast. Um and <laughs> then I'm gonna move <laughs> to the Port side. Can you move to the port side? Okay. The port side wing. Okie dokie. Or talent or whatever the fuck. Uh, yeah, it would be one of its talents, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And All that's right. my turn. Nine, temp HP. There you go. Hawthorne. Is gonna shoot it. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. Our greatest contributor. Yeah. Put it, put it to sleep. Let, let, let it crush the ship. Yeah, you, no, you know it, Nat One's, you know it, Nat One's the saving throw here. Hmm. And we all die because of it. That's right, you're only 10 feet up right now. No, that's still a... Oh, it's grip will loosen up, it'll fall back no, no, off the ship into the water. Oh, right, right, right. That's yeah. the thing, you kill the boss, but then the boss is like, dead body crushes you, and you have yeah. to do the boss again. <laughs> 14? 14 misses, unfortunately. Yeah. Ooh. So Hawthorne just... And, the, and it just, it, the, the arrow just goes... Oh, that goes like straight up, and almost like curves backwards, and lands in the water behind the ship. Like, God damn it. <laughs> Hawthorne's Brooks, playing Russian Brooks wonders how he got shot in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> um, does Hawthorne want to move anywhere? Nah. Okay. Uh, it's now Celeste's turn, who comes bursting out of the the middle the middle deck, uh, and and it's now stands beside uh, you two by the main mast, and she is going to. 
use her bonus action to use one of her wild shapes to take on the starry form. Uh, this Star mommy. time... Uh, yes, uh, as the archer again. So this archer constellation appears on her body, and she just becomes this 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 body made of just stars and 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 like galaxy. And it looks trippy as fuck, but it's so fucking cool. Um, and she can she's going to make an attack, and she just hurls this luminous bright star-like arrow at uh, the rock. Oh, yeah. Uh, with a 16 to hit, which does hit. <clears throat> For 11 points of what is it? radiant damage. Uh, it says here, when you activate this form, which is a bonus action, so she still has her action. So she can just also... Yeah, no, she can... Use an action as well. Fuck it. Uh, and as an action... Davy, you're bloody, right? Yeah. She uh, is right beside you, so she's going to... Uh, use a second level Cure Wounds on you. Because she likes me. <laughs> so you heal for... Uh, 14 it's points my job. of... Uh, 14 hit points. That puts me at 33 hit points. Oh, the six God. number. <laughs> Great. And that is Celeste's turn. Uh, it is now Daigon's turn, Ethan. Daniel? Yes. It's, uh, it's Daigon's turn. Daigon. Yeah. And you're I've right after that. I've been sat here, like, trying to draft up what the fuck they're going to do. And uh, Brooks is right after that, by the way. Yeah, I know. That's the problem. Okay. Fuck it. Uh, Dagon's gonna move over to the port talon where nobody was at, if I remember. Uh, I think was it Shiax that moved up there uh, on the at the end of his turn, right? Coco. What's up? Jax, Sorry. Jax moved to the port side talon, right at the end of his turn. Yes. Yeah. So Jax is yeah. there. Okay. The other well, talon Jax has Kai and uh, uh, Kess. That's fine. It's strengthy boys can stay. Okay. Uh, Dagon's gonna get real fucking close to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's going to activate her astral arms. Oh yeah. Pop those motherfuckers out. The rock needs to make a do 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 deck save. I think. Yeah, deck save. Uh, that's a nine. That's a fail. So it takes two d six force damage okay. from the arms popping out. Why does nobody have double ones? So that's two. Nice. So two points. Of My rolls are cursed tonight. Um, so it takes two points of force damage. Now this thing's strong. Yeah. Strong enough to lift We're up We're only ten ship. feet above the water right now. Correct. Dagon and Brooks. And I guess Jax, if he gets involved, the strong boys of the party. Uh, Dagon is going to grab one of the claws of its talon. Okay. And begin trying to pry it out of the boat. Okay. With her astral arms. Um, and then in that case, just make a strength check, but for that, because the astral arms, she can use her can use wisdom, wisdom instead. instead? Of, yeah. Make, make, a, make a wisdom check for me then in that case. It's a 16. Okay. Keep that in mind. Ooh. Is it... Uh... Athletics, or is it just straight? Oh, let's make it uh, athletics, fuck it. Then it'd be a 19. Okay, keep that in mind. Anything else uh, Dagon wants to do? Yeah, a 19. Uh, no, that's nine. That's everything she can do. Okay. That's her action. Brooks. I forgot to mention Celeste gets 10 temp HP. Oh, okay. And Dagon gets 8. Okay, cool. I can't write that on a sheet, so... Write down something. Write it down and I am doing. And you know something. Yeah, I am doing. Uh, <clears throat> Brooks' turn. Brooks, yes. Brooks is gonna go exactly where Dagon is. He's gonna rage. And he's gonna do the same fucking thing. Alright, I'm making a dice check with advantage because you're raging. 
Because I'm raging. And athletics is good for me, baby. Oh, he picks up the whole bird. Too full, yeah. And he fucking throws oh, it into the sun. A natural nine for a total of 20. Okay. So 20 and the 19. He needs to make a strength check, but with this advantage because of the hex. Wait, is hex concentration? Hex doesn't yes. affect saving throws. Hold on. No, he's no, a he check. Needs to do oh, a right, check. it's check. It's check. I'm done. I pass it. Yeah, so you needed to roll at least 12. What did you roll? I rolled a 13 on the die, and then okay, okay, uh, right. whatever so, else. So, yeah, hex is still up. So that means disadvantage. Oh. Nah, that's not gonna fucking matter, is it? <laughs> uh, natural 15 on the lowest die. Oh, bitch. Yeah, no, that's. No. Uh, you, you try, but it's, it has a really sturdy grip on the ship, man. It okay. Is, Does it feel verb. like we didn't. Like we weren't strong enough, or does it feel impossible? Especially, like, for Brooks. Not impossible, but very unlikely. Okay. That's enough for me. I'll give you that. <laughs> it's... Uh, it's fucking strong. Okay. Um... Okay. Uh, Chip? 10 temp HP for Brooks. Uh... Ship flies towards me, and okay. uh, is gonna try and help me for my next uh, for my next turn. Sounds good. Okie dokie. Uh, back to the top of the initiative order, uh, Elasrin. Okay. So I will, uh, as an action, cast Fairy Fire on it. The deck save, I believe. Hey, is it deck saving throw, please? I'm gonna uh, make sure I do like at the back doesn't fucking hit anyone. Natural nine plus zero. Uh, nice. it fails. So it's now just sparkly. It's now a sparkly bird. It's a sparkly bird. Oh. It's beautiful. And then I'm, as a bonus action, going to hit it with my spiritual, spiritual weapon. weapon, which is a dirty 20 to hit. That hits, yeah. For uh, seven points of force damage. Okie dokie. And that's my turn and see do I get better healing? I do. So there's this 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 monstrosity mm. of a bird just glowing in the sparkly, like purple greenish light, but still very much just just talons sunk into the ship, just and, and the ship's still like flying or floating ten feet above the surface of the water at this point. Uh Kess, it is your turn. Okay. I'm going to move underneath the bird so that it can't, like, hit me with its wings, because, like, I'm right under its belly. It's a bold strategy, but we'll see what it, how it plays out for him. Hopefully. <laughs> and then I'm gonna shoot an Eldritch Blast to its left foot and an Eldritch Blast to its right foot. Okay. Roll two attacks. Okay, the first one is 22. It's... And the second one is... Uh, 9... Uh, 17? Also hits. Oh, thank God. At this rate, this bird um, <clears throat> is strong, but also very hard to miss due to its uh, sometimes maybe a little inconvenient size. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <sighs> I hate... I hate maths. Okay. 8. Uh, force damage. Plus three thunder, so eleven plus six necrotic. So seventeen total. Okay. Yep. And then the second one. Uh, eleven force damage and four necrotic. So another fifteen damage. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Anything else you want to do? No. As the Eldritch Blast kind of slam into the talons, you do kind of see the talons kind of like twitch a bit uh, upon hitting. Um, what's your passive perception? Um, eighteen. Eighteen. 
it's 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 a bit odd because you see something uh, as this as this uh, creature, this monstrosity has been has been struck by spells, but also uh, you know other means of, of of damage. You expect it to bleed, but whenever it gets wounded, instead of blood, you just see a clear liquid, almost like water, just coming out of of of, of the body. It's bloated. So waterway. Oh no! Can't t say that. That's um, rude. Um. So yeah, that's something that just kind of like catches you, and you're like, "Oh, that's pretty sure that's not how it's supposed to be." Um, Davian. You get ten. I'm HP. going to. Wait, who does? Yes, ten. 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 Yes. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna hunt his market. Hell yeah. No, no, I'm going to shoot it. Go for it. In for the eyes. Bro. With advantage, right? Because of fairy fire? Yarp. Correct. Any attack roll. Natural 20. Hey. Let's go. Yes. All right. Which, it's worth it. Which is should be a decent amount of damage. Hold on. I want to kind of quickly just, as we do this, run something by you. Mm. Uh, I want to change the way we do natural 20s, critical hits, as of today. I'm going to take a page oh. out of Laura's book. Um, in the campaign we do with Laura, because it's, what happens here, sometimes like you roll a crit and it's like, oh, I want to damage die. So what, we get, what we're going to do here is you get the full damage of your initial sets of, of damage dice. And then you get to roll an additional die just to see what the critical damage would be. So you get full damage on the base attack, the base damage you would you would be dealing, so the d6 for the hunter's mark and the d whatever, 8 for your bow. Right. So that's full, so you you know, that, that's 14 you have, plus whatever your bonuses is, and then you get to roll just extra die, extra dice to determine the Wait, critical damage. you're saying you get full damage on the damage die? Correct. Plus. Plus, oh. yeah. So instead okay. of rolling, yeah, instead yeah. Of rolling more... Two critical, dice. you know what I mean? You max one dice and you just roll one dice. Yeah, exactly. So I'm roll. I'm still rolling a d8 and a d6, yeah. but with the baseline 14, 14. damage. Yes. 14 yeah. plus whatever right. you would, I usually So 14 yeah. so rather than rolling, and then now whatever the fuck you roll as the critical damage. Rather than rolling 2d6 and 2d8, you assume that one of each of them is maxed. Yeah. So that is... Uh, 22 doubling. 26 points? There you go. Of piercing damage. Nice. It is just kind of to, because we've had a lot of times where you roll a crit and you're like, oh, pog, and then you roll double ones or whatever. And it's like, yeah, oh. and you're like, oh, two damage crit, pog. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Boom. So to make crits feel a little more rewarding, we're going to dis this is how we're going to do crits from that one. And um, then we're going to take the DD one approach where Dutch can't crit or can't whatever. Crit. Yeah. Stuff, yeah. Fuck that. If you guys can crit, so can I, motherfucker. <laughs> nope. Um, Not anymore. So no, because yeah, you, uh, you fire, also you fire an arrow, too. and we'll say that. You just, you just fire it straight up at, at this at this creature's head, and it just lands right into one of its eyes, and just it closes yeah, the up. eye. The arrow just jammed, stuck in there, and it just lets out this this loud screech, just, just as it just, just kind of flails. You can feel the ship kind of go rocking side to side. Dude, I'm a fucking moron, dude. I should have, I could have pumped so much into that that I didn't, and. <laughs> uh... Hey well, I could, I could have at least put in a, <coughs> a elemental fucking bullshit and doubled the roll on that too, but whatever. Yeah. You know, whatever. Whatever. That's my turn. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, that's my turn. Yo, you get 11 temp HP. There you go. Uh, uh, that puts me at my... Not technically at max because it's temp HP, but you know. Kai, you're up. Back to yeah. That yeah. chip on your shoulder. Yep, I'm just gonna grab my scimitar of wounding have it across my thumb and green fire starts going around it as I uh, cast yeah. uh, good old uh, green flame blade and just you know where the, where the talons are right where like the actual claw begins mm -hmm. right in front of it I just stick it in okay just to see if I can uh, can do some damage you have advantage it's... Counting. Counting is hard. What do I add? I add... For... 23 to hit? 23 hits, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, good. So that is... 3 slashing okay. damage. 
7 fire damage. Mm -hmm. And it is now also considered wounded, so it will take uh, some necronic damage at the start of its turn. Okay. Uh, anything else you want to do? No. I'm just going to stay there and be a turtle. Okay. Well, it is now its turn, so what's the damage it takes on... Uh, it's on... 6, 10 HP. I will take those, thank you. I need those. Uh, that's a whopping. Two necrotic damage. All right. Well, and, I really, and, uh, really counts. And at the <coughs> end of its turn, it can do a, uh, a constitution saving throw to see if it's uh, getting rid of the, the wounds. Okay. All right. Firstly, the rock... Interestingly enough, tries to lift the ship up even higher, but kind of fails to do so because of the, the fact that it now has this advantage on those checks and because of the hex. So it fails its strength check. Hex is doing so, something helpful! <laughs> instead, of it's, instead of the ship going even higher up in the sky, it r remains afloat at 10 feet above the surface of the water. That's one of the very few times in combat where a hex actually like, oh, Hex did something because the fact that yeah. it doesn't affect saving throws is so shitty. Damage. Or it doesn't affect uh, whatever the fuck. Like, saving throws, yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, okay. So instead. Wow. Good shit, Bell. It's going to just multi attack and just its beak just goes straight down. Um, let's see, who do we have? It's going to. I'm just going to roll a die for it. Fuck it. There's two. There's three people at the middle mass. There's a Davian. There's an Elazar. And there's an. Uh, there's a Star Mommy. The roll. <laughs> a D six. Uh, that always gets you. Elazar. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> a fucking course. Uh, <laughs> the beak goes straight for you uh, with a uh, nineteen to hit. Yeah, it hits. <clears throat> hey, you wish you had that cloak of displacement now, huh? No, it wouldn't make a fucking difference because I fucking forgot about it. But it would have had a disadvantage. <laughs> no, because so... I would have fucking forgotten. But yeah, but I would have reminded you. No. It's 25 not. points of uh, piercing damage. <laughs> As this God. I mean, you gotta imagine, if this bird is that big, yeah, its fucking beak has to be fucking humongous as well. <laughs> Like yeah, it's not point, that much damage, at, bro. At this point, it probably wouldn't even be piercing damage anymore. It's just straight bludgeoning just, damage. <laughs> I'm now like an, I'm just an inch short now because like my back has just been compressed. An inch. Just, you're try, just try a foot. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're just becoming a shish kebab on its and beak. And it honestly. is uh, with its left with its left <laughs> wing, it's going to wing attack both Brooks and uh, Daigon, who are still at the left Stalin, right? I'm pretty sure. Uh, Wait, aren't oh, I there as ooh, well? And Jax, yeah, it's a cleave, so yeah. there's anyone within that range. Move. I don't want to say it, but I felt like I had Pussy. to. Move. Bussy juice. Sorry, yeah, me anyway. Any reason why this thing would have disadvantage at this point? Uh, yes, because, because, because I, I said, said it does. Does Fairy Fire give him disadvantage on attacks? No. 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 Nope. It, it can, it it can if you allow it to. So it's a natural 20, guys. <laughs> oh my god. I won't die. I won't die. It's fine. We're about to see I'll three be okay. go down. The other two might die, but I'll be fine. This is fine. Unless this thing rolls max it, damage. I no, because DMs can't crit. <laughs> yeah, true. Oh, Funny. true, dude. DMs Funny, can't man. crit. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh... The, the coast will be coming for your ass after this one, Dutch. All right. Is it over 50 damage? No. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. It's over 60. Like, what? <laughs> is it force damage? <laughs> is it force damage? No. It's I'll psychic. Fine, man. I'm raging. It's psychic. I rolled okay. the wrong dice. Hold on. I thought it was D8, but oh, it's, no. it's not. Hold on. Redo. It was, D8. It was a D12. Ten plus. You take forty-two points of slashing oh, damage fine. each. Um, yeah, no biggie. Half to twenty-one for Brooks. All right. <clears throat> so that's uh, that's that's Diagon, Brooks, and Jax. Uh, and that is the Rock's turn. Jax, you're up. So. so Brooks is doing okay. Dagon's very bloodied. Constitution yeah, save. Yeah, uh, I know. It's huh? do oh, I shit, heal yeah. or do I is attack? Yeah. Uh, twenty-four. Fuck balls. Okay. No longer wounded. No longer wounded. Okay. I wish advantage to hit it, 
but we also need heals. Hmm. <laughs> I can do. I am also part. dumb. I could have gotten rid of that crit. Idiot. I love playing this character, dude. Oh, with silvery barb. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can cast that for free one day too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you, you snooze yeah, you lose, yeah, mister. Yeah, yeah, I'm a fucking idiot. Okay. Well, that for next um, bit. <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> you rolled another crit. I'm dead, dude. <clears throat> um, really good. You'll make him roll. Chance I'm, of one in twenty. Right, you know what? I don't think I can heal enough to make it worth healing. So. I am going to punch it twice with my thunder gauntlet. Oh yeah, baby! Roll some attacks. So for the first one. Why not just? Oh, thank God one. I had advantage because that would have been in that one otherwise. Um. Plus what? To hit? Plus eight, so twenty-six to hit. Twenty-six, yeah. First one. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the second one is natural motherfucking twenty. Okay, there you go. Thank you, fairy fire. All right. You're welcome. Okay, so I'll roll the non crit first. Bam, 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 non crit bam, bam. is nine points of thunder damage. Okay. That matters. And then the second is, oh my god, uh, twenty one points of thunder. That's including damage. the like base damage maxed out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I rolled max. Okay, twenty one. 21. Very good. As you fucking bludgeon the ever-living shit out of its left talon, you can see again, you now also see it, uh, all three of you, I guess, because you're right near the talon. So that would be Daigon, Brooks, and, uh, and Jax. But you expect to draw Whoa. blood? Just It seems just, just water comes out, just a clear liquid just flat, floods out. Nice. Instead of, instead of blood. Um, is that your turn? Uh, yeah, uh, your dome's still up, right, Lazar? Yes. So you got. Okay, then that is my turn, yeah. You get eight. Yeah, I'll say, yeah, you can give me more temp HP that I can get myself. So. Okay. Uh, Thorn. He's gonna shoot it. Nice. Oh, anyway. time to shoot Brooks in the ass. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> I rolled the same thing. You got 12 or something. Yeah, okay. That misses. <laughs> uh, fuck! <laughs> Celeste <laughs> uh, is going to use her bonus action to use, hurl another star-like arrow at it. That's uh, a uh, twenty-something to hit, so that does hit uh, for eleven points of radiant damage. Uh, boom, and is then going to use her action. Uh, To run over to the thruple of Daigon, Brooks, and Jax. Oh, thruple. And is going to... The old man can bone. Is going to pump a third level cure wounds. Uh, in Daigon. Because Daigon, like out of you three, Daigon looks the worst, right? I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm not bloodied. Dagon is. Dagon is. Is Jack Hello's bloodied? Dagon. I am technically bloodied as well, but how low is Dagon? She's she very, is very bloodied. I think she's lower than I am now. Yeah. yeah, she's gonna just go for Dagon. So Dagon. Because Celeste wouldn't know more than that. Yeah. 10, 14, 17 <laughs> points of, of, of healing for Dagon. Uh, and no, that is Celeste's turn. Dagen. And it is now Dagon's turn. How much was the healing again? I'm trying to do math. 17. 17, okay. <sighs> yeah, fuck it. Uh, Dagon's gonna <clears throat> fucking do the same thing and attempt to pull its fucking talon off. Okay. Attempt to dislodge it from the ship. Athletics, but with wisdom instead? Uh, that is... An 18. Okay. And then... She will spend a key point to take the dodge action. Okay. 
Um, Brooks. Wait, does Zygon get 10 HP? Yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> uh, at 11. 11? Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Brooks turn! Brooks is gonna do the same, but he's hench just fucking he's raging still. Because it attacked me. Ooh. Ooh. That is a... That is a 29. Okay. <clears throat> you manage to dislodge one of its like talons, like one of one of its little fucking pointy. I'm sure it has like like three. Yeah, have you ever seen a bird a bird's feet? Not with all only birds one? have three talons, Dutch. Name a bird that only has one. I didn't say it only had one. I said I'm <laughs> assuming it has three. You could yeah, have so, said no. It so has seven. You dislodged uh, one of them. It's twelve. So the grip is slightly uh, loosened, but it still yeah. has it. It still has the ship, but it definitely you can see one of its little toesies now, like kind of. Okay, good to know. Prodded out of the ship. This is, then... like, I mean, keep in mind that these, like, toes are about as big as you guys are. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it's mad. Um, I just really enjoyed that, like, oh, that imagery, man. you know? Only this man could have hit it a bunch of times and maybe even stunned it, and that would have helped. I can't stun it. But you can hold Dagon! <laughs> Dagon doesn't right. have. Is that Brooks's turn? I would assume so. Um. No, I'm gonna do something stupid. Okay. Drop grenade to yourself again. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I'm Bet. gonna spend a key point to step of the wind. Okay. Uh, and take the dash action. Mhm. Mm uh, my jump distance is doubled in case I need it. Okay. But I now have an 80 foot movement, and I'm gonna start climbing this motherfucker. Okay, so you're gonna climb up his leg. What's your climb speed? Uh, that's a monk. I don't know if my climb speed's halved or not. Uh, it still is. It's like yeah, like six or seven level, or something yeah. like that. Uh, so my climb speed would be twenty feet, but I'm I'm dashing, so it's forty. Yeah. So you make your way up its its leg, uh, not quite at like its back yet, but to, but I mean you're getting you're making your way up there, I guess. 40 cool. feet up. Cool. Unless you want to crawl Fuck anywhere else, bit. like it's fucking Cloaca's lower, I guess, but uh, I don't know what you want to do there. Whoa. Yeah, I'm um, gonna punch it. I'm gonna punch <laughs> it in the going up inside the eye of your Cloaca. I've always wanted to be an egg. <laughs> uh, chip. Lay me. Uh, could I use, instead of a help action, a non help action, try to see if I can send him up to. The bird's eyes and start pecking around a little bit to distract it or some something. Uh, yeah, sure, fuck it. Yeah, okay. I'm just try. gonna do that. I'm just gonna do that. This chip's gonna go up and try to oh big bird and trying to just peck some eyes. Distract a little Me bit. Me trying to annoy my brother. Rolla, how fucking annoying can I be check? Uh no, um light switch these room. On the scale for Montecoiba. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a pretty big scale. Okay. Um <laughs> oh my god, stop. You just gave like stop it. everybody fucking epileptic fits. Stop it. Okay. We'll, we'll see what happens whenever it's the rock's turn. Yeah. How it responds. Uh, Back to the top. Elazrin. That's me? Mm -hmm. Uh, Cool. I have not thought about what the fuck I want to do at all. So, I... Oh, uh, Kai, you get... That's the wrong dice. You get... Uh, I, I I didn't have a turn. Oh, you no, did. It, it was no, the fucking the, the bird. But sorry, but, but, I'm stupid. Can Chip get temp HP? Wait, no, because he's also not in the dome. He's not in the dome anymore because he flew up to <laughs> yeah. he flew up to the fucking. I will. Yeah, for Chip. No. How bloody are the people next to me? Not Celestia, at all. Celestia's is fine. Oh, well, I'm just gonna fucking kill myself then. Okay. <laughs> gonna do a level two kill cool wounds on myself. Oh yeah. Send it. Oh thank God! I thought that I thought that was a one, but it was a seven. Fucking hell! Would have <laughs> actually committed crimes. Uh, no. Last maths. 
14. I get back. Hell yeah. I heal back 14, and then I will... Um, my spiritual weapon will attack again. Oh yeah. Fucking nunchucks still floating by the yeah, fucker. Yeah, 27. Face. That hits, yeah. Uh, for 12 points of damage. 12 points of damage. And then I will kind of just move away from that group a little bit. So trying to keep everyone in the, in the bubble, but I'm just going to sort of like step away from that group of three just a little bit, like move like 10 foot forward if I can, just like right up to the edge. Yeah, sure. Or so just I'm like a little bit further away from everyone. Okie dokie. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, I rolled max on myself. Hell yeah. There you go. 11 temp HP. Kesslin? <clears throat> I'm going to fire Kesslin. two Eldritch Blasts at its feet again. Oh, one each again? Yeah. The first one is a dirty 20. That hits. Real quick, is Fairy Fire still up? Yup, it's concentration. <clears throat> Second one is oh, 25. Both hit. Yeah, it's still up. Ooh. Uh, 14 force damage. Okay. Plus 3 thunder and 4 necrotic. 21. Mm hmm. <clears throat> and 13 force damage and 5 necrotic. All right, it's starting to look pretty fucking rough. This this bird, you can see, like, yeah. it's, breathing is heavy. There's water. At this point, there's just water pouring out of a lot of orifices on its body, which is still strikes you as very strange. Nice. Um, Davian. He's a beast of the sea. I'm sure it's some bullshit like that. Uh, I'm going to shoot him again with my bow and arrow. Where's Kassarin when you need her to, like, control water and make it blow up? <laughs> That's a natural two and a natural point, three, really baby! Right Let's go! Mm. Let's go! What is that, uh, Alright. Eight and nine? Okay, no, know. not eight and nine. Eleven total, no. but I'm not confident in that. Um... That fucking blows, isn't it? Let me just, hold on. I need to mark off arrows actually while I'm at it. Uh, Onu, <laughs> bonus action. Onu's gonna get in there. Hell yeah. Twenty, dirty twenty for Onu. Yes, that hits. Which is pog tasty, <clears throat> but he rolls a one on the death. <laughs> <laughs> So that's seven points of piercing. Okay. Uh, sorry, slashing. Seven points of slashing. And uh, he's going to get the fuck out of there. Pretty um, good. And that'll do it, I guess. Uh, that's, yeah, that'll be my turn. Davian gets 11 temp. Kess gets seven. Woo! Okay. Uh, at this point, time. you can see that every oh. hit, or every every strike that it receives its grip on the ship just like weakens and weakens it, it's not looking Windling. it's not looking very good uh kai um as action taking out the scimitar do the same green flames put it back in uh, that's 19 to hit that hits Oh, Bless you. That's uh, excuse me. one slashing damage. Wow. Big damage. Eight fire damage. Okay. It's oh, wounded just... again. Uh, and you. as a bonus action, a uh, quick look around and I will... Uh, what the fuck is it? Uh, I have a question. Healing hmm? words, Jax, real quick. Since so, this thing's so fucking big, <clears throat> could Green Flame Blade jump from it to another part of it and deal more damage? Nah, it's, 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 one, it's one creature, right? Damn you. So, Jax gets uh, six extra health. There you go. Is Green Flame Blade a cantrip? Yep. Yes. Oh, mad. Didn't know that. But it was a first level spell. Alright. <clears throat> Is that your turn, Kai? 
Shows what you know, lol. Sorry? Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> I apologize? <laughs> God damn. Uh, yes, it is. Okay. And, uh, DM's gonna kill you, it man. It is another free necrotic damage for uh, Ghost Bird's turn starts. Yeah, it's, it's his turn now. All right. Oh, I don't know how much temp HP you have, Kai, but if you have none, it's eight now. Oh, thank you. Plus six. Oh, Very good. It is now the rock's turn. And it is going to... If you smell... Oh, la, 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 what, what the, the rock is, is cooking. <laughs> it's going to beak Kess. Just Ooh. dive what down with its beak and just... Fuck! That's fucked up, dude. Shut up. Uh, 25 to hit. No. That's a lie. <laughs> Damn it. I'm not taking that for a fucking answer. Fuck you. Uh... <laughs> no, no, no disadvantage because Chip was picking at his eyes? No. Nah. No disadvantage because one of his eyes has an arrow in it? <laughs> Wouldn't have mattered No anyway. disadvantage because no, of the on. pressure from being 20 feet above the surface level. <laughs> You take 24 points of uh, bl bludgeoning damage, uh, I'll say, because this is no longer a fucking piercing peck. This is just... Uh, 24, 24 points of bludgeoning, yes. And it is going to... <laughs> I look bad, boy. <laughs> I did not look okay. <laughs> Exactly. How many of you You're are still conscious? collected? Like, there's like four of you collected at the left-hand side. The now, left right? side, yeah. On its foot? Yeah. So that would nope. be... No, Brooks is gone. Brooks is fucking... It's up. It, it's Dygon, Celeste, and Jax. And me. And Jax. Yeah, it's gonna fucking... Brooks is fucking... It's gonna fucking... Up to its hips. Okay, go ahead and roll with disadvantage. Oh, Cast for silvery barbs. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh. 22 to hits. First. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... You're gonna silvery barb oh, that? Wait. Yeah, I'm gonna silvery barb that. So it's like, it's not disadvantage, it's just roll again and whatever I roll I have to take, right? Uh... Yes. 28 to hit this time. Nice. Uh, okay. You can give to one person, so... Okay. Oh no, it must use the, low, the lower the. Oh, is it? Okay. Oh yeah, okay. it is. Okay. It's, still, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's still 20 plus then, so it doesn't matter. Um, yeah. either way, it's still gonna hit everybody. I'm gonna give advantage to a Lazarin. Okay. Uh, you... In case he has to kill, like, revive someone that's gonna die. Uh... In case he has to kill someone that's <laughs> someone. gonna die. Come here, Cass! You three, so, uh, Celesti... Make sure the rock doesn't get the XP. Celesti, yeah. Daigon, and Jax What's take 23 points movie? of slashing damage. How much? 23. 23. I mean, Daigon's doing not great, but... Better than Cass. So, um. <laughs> about that. Oh. You were conscious? God. Is Jackson conscious? Jax might have slumped over. Yeah, but he might just be taking a nap. He's all. It could just be an old man nap. He's just not collecting. It could be an old man nap. Okay? He's not on his meds, guys. We ran out two days ago. He forgot his caffeine pill this morning. Okay. There's no pharmacies <laughs> on the sea. Alright, uh, that is its turn, and it is now Jax's turn. So, Jax, could you roll me a death save, please? Yo, Look, I don't know what dice to roll, dude. Yo, big nat 20. Alright, this is on Quaver. let's go. It's me nat 20, easy clamp. No. Oh, it's not. It's a two. <laughs> that's one failed. Oh, that's that not a one. So it's a failure. Oh, boy. Uh, okay, yeah, that's one failed death save. Um... Oh, wait, do I have to roll to see if it's wounded still? Right, at the end of its yeah. turn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, Probably not. it's not winning anymore, no. 21. No. Uh, Thorn. Uh, almost. Thorn? Thorn. Legendary reactions. Shoot him while he's down. He used one wing attack as well. <laughs> Get <laughs> finished me off. Thorn just comes over. I've always wanted to level up. <laughs> <laughs> That's my chance. Becomes a fairy. Oh, that totally did not hit. He rolled a four. Yeah, okay, now that. No, it didn't. Thank God you've got armor. Um. <clears throat> It's now Celesti's turn, and Celesti, as a bonus action, is going to just hurl another 
arrow, like a star arrow at the <gasps> at the rock. Oh my god, I never got unconscious before. What? No, no. So, hold on, let me check this. Uh, go ahead, keep going. Okay. I have to check something real quick though. It's a 17 to hit, which does hit. Oh, so the rock way, takes like nine points of radiant damage. What are you doing, Soko? Um, nothing that affects the combat, but okay. um, I believe now that I'm unconscious, my infusions no longer work. Oh, so all the bag of holding shit would spill out on the ground. Oh my god, is that really? No way, I'm checking on it, so keep, keep going. Infusions but, last until five days after you die. You're right. Okay, oh, so you're good. You're good. You're good. I, I was reading on it. I was After just, you I, die, I you're not go unconscious. Just, yeah. you know, you have to be dead. Yeah. I, I know there's something days. like if I go unconscious, it just stops. It's, but it's, it's okay. a number of days equal to your intelligence. Uh, modifier, and Celestia right? is then, because that was her bonus yeah, action, okay. as an action is going to kneel down beside Jax and cast Cure Wounds second level and heal you for 15 hit points. 1 5. You take that. Um, yeah. I brought you back. Celeste got the juice. Yeah. Uh, and that is oh. Celeste's turn. It is now Daigon's turn. Shout out to my juicers. Um, I mean, this thing's looking fucked up, right? It's very bloodied here. Yeah. Or, or right, well, Daigon's just well, gonna fucking wail yeah. on one of the two Tarlins that are still attached on this side of the ship. What's I just dropped one of my dice. Uh, because I'm a dickhead. Nice. So Daigon's gonna attack. Okay. Um, Using her collapsible spear. Mm-hmm. How many attacks? <clears throat> Is she... She's two attacks per action. Fancy. Yeah. She's a full, full level five monk, right? Yeah. I'm sad that that was cocked because it was good. Uh, the first one's a 15. Just hits. Thank God for that. The second one's a 26. <gasps> 26? Oh, uh, yeah. So... That is... Yeah. 18 points of uh do, 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 do. uh it says piercing oh yeah this is yeah spear it's 18 18 points of piercing how does Dagon want to finish him off oh that's oh, enough thank God. Oh. um I never had to do a how does someone else want to do this. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, figure it out. <laughs> Daigon is going to slash it at once in the talons with the spear. Mm -hmm. And then as the rock leans forward to try and bite at her or make her fuck off, she's just going to turn the spear up. Mm -hmm. and jam it through the bottom of its mouth and out the top of its head. Oh, yeah. Spicy. And as that happens, the, the, the rock lets go of the ship, and the ship <laughs> falls down 10 feet. No real... Does like, it turn back into a ramen? Uh, it... As it... The body just, like, almost collapses on the deck of the ship, which would completely ruin it, it just completely... <laughs> and nothing but just water <laughs> falls okay. onto the ship and just kind of, like... Runs off the sides. Uh, so, the ship's now on the ground. On the water. I was 40 foot <laughs> up the rock. And the ship's then so dropped. So, the you ship's do, now 50 you, foot No, 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 you now. come down in a wave of the water and you're like... Blah, 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 the ship's now 50 foot fine. below me. Uh, so you would fall with the ship. You fall with the ship, so you fall 40 feet, yeah. So, you take... Okay, so I still fall 40 feet. Yeah, so you take... What is that? It's like a problem. Let me check, let me check, let me check. A d6 one. per 10 feet. How many dies? Uh... Four five. dice. What's the max of 46? 24? Yes. Yeah. Okay, roll them then and we'll see what happens. Four, Why aren't you raging? So it'd be half. 10... 15, yeah. so 7. Half. How much is it? 7 points of bludgeoning damage. I was just using my reaction to slow fall. Oh, okay. So I don't take oh. any. There you go. Cool. Uh, I... uh, as the as the rock cool. has disappeared, you can still just see from from where it was, just like a little rain kind of like falling on the ship, and th this this like rainfall lasts for a good few minutes. Um, got a superhero landing on the ship. Celeste, <laughs> break uh, your knee. <laughs> yeah, reverts back to and her normal wrist. her normal form, no longer Star Mommy as uh, she was described. It was right. a bit um, she's always grim, that, wasn't it? 
standing in the rainfall of something's dead body. Yeah, I've never encountered a bird like that before. I think this just implies that it was water the whole time, right? It was just... It was just... I mean, water. I'm sure it's something to do with, like, the sea, uh, unbelief, something, right? Oh, Is the rain a... salty? We'll get yeah. to see if there's a fourth of Oh, stick your fucking tongue out. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> It is, it, is, it, is, it is salty, it is seawater, yeah. As uh, blood pours down her body because she's yeah. fucked. <laughs> she she I will, not look good. <laughs> I will um, just say, anyone who is injured, come gather near me. And I'll start to level 3 cast uh, Prayer of Healing. How long does that oh, take? Okay. How long does that take? Ten, 10 minutes, baby. Okay. So as you're casting, like as you're getting towards the end of the cast... Yes. Uh, Oh, no. You suddenly the hear the water here. around the ship starts to rumble and 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 oh, just oh. as this larger than life water body just shoots up out of the water and just kind of like torso up, up towers over the ship, um, kind of vaguely in the shape of what you you know what an elven man but just humongous and made up made of water, and it looks down. Um, at you all. So you appear to have survived my trials. I apologize for any inconvenience it may have caused you, but you're going to take on Umberly and one of her champions. I had to make sure you were up to the task. We recognize this figure? <sighs> make a religion check. I don't fucking do though. Can I make a religion? Can I make yeah, sure. nine? Can I? Is there even any point Brooks making one? No, not really. One? No, not really. Day twenty. Day twenty. Because I'm there mid prayer. Uh, nine. Like... Mm, nope. Day twenty. Anyone else? I rolled a ten. I rolled a nine. Okay. I'll give a hoot. Give a hoot. <laughs> yes. I had a nine. Yeah. No. So only uh, only a Lazarin. What a surprise. <laughs> Uh, you recognize this to be uh, Deep Sashilas, Lord of the Undersea. Lord of the Undersea. Brooks has no idea who this is. And this is uh, basically kind of where Umberly is the evil sea goddess. This is the, the, the less evil, more, not necessarily good, more neutral, but it's definitely... Oh, I see. Uh, definitely has, quarrel you up, definitely has you. quarreled with her before. Okay. Uh, and him and him and Umber Umberly do not get along. Um, so he 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 towers over the ship. There's this like just a, this body made of water. But for surviving my trials, you get a reward. And you all look at your clothing, and this small pin in the shape of a dolphin just kind of appears. Stuck, That's cute. Stuck to your clothing. Wear this and be granted my boon. Now, please, when taking on Umberly and doing whatever it is you need to do, or her champions, be careful. She's a tricky one. And the water, this 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 being just sinks back into the water, and it disappears, and leaves you with this dolphin pin. Stuck to your clothing. What was his name? Uh, does does Alanzar know? No idea. Tell you? I mean, Who the no. fuck was that? Um, well, he's the Lord of the Undersea. I can't fucking remember what you said his name was because it was something ridiculous. Is that Koiba not remembering, or is that? Yeah, that's generally Koiba not uh, remembering. Deep Sashilas. Yeah, fuck it. I deep Sashilas. Could it be more ridiculous than Alanzar and Bernard Julius? Deep Deep Sashilas. He's the Lord of the Undersea. He's not exactly the opposite, but this is another water god. Oh, I wonder how many more gods we're going to have a little parlay with before we make what it to... It, uh... What is it with all these fucking gods and elementals just throwing shit at us and then fucking That's what I'm being like, Congratulations, you survived. What the I fuck have... if we it, hadn't? It, well, to be fair, it's what, we, it's what we, they did, do. we did kind of... Um... Infiltrate's a bad word, but we did kind of try and colonize their land, so... There's a lot of I them. I didn't! Who put us here if not shit? the gods, Did you travel to Keldar? 
Mm. Then you did. I'm just a tourist. But we're not the only <laughs> people. We're, we're not, you know, the only... So, you know. Well, let's just say that ordinary people don't board pirate ships to go fight an undead champion and try to take a trident of a goddess being. They sound boring. Mundane. It's probably oh. a better way of putting it. Dutch, would I know anything about his boons at all, or just know who It'd be is? normal, I guess. Uh, no, but uh, <laughs> this pin is there for a reason. Sick. Jack, Jax, I don't suppose you can identify these at all, could you? Um, when you look at Jax, Jax yeah. is kind of just sitting there. He's mumbling to himself. Kind of just sitting there, creating oh, you a guys, little ball. You guys all would have healed. Whoever needed healing would have healed 15. 15? Oh, okay. Because I rolled an eight on the first dice and then two ones on the other two. And Let's I was like, is, nice. there test? is there a limit to how many people you can heal with it? Six. So I'm not giving it to myself because I'm okay. pretty fucking healthy. So definitely how, Daffy how and definitely Jack. I took some. Yes, that's three. Brooks, Brooks will only go over. If I can give it to Brooks, Steigen, and, and Kai. I can give it to everyone. Uh, Celestine does also look bloody. So keep him, uh, oh, okay. I won't give, give it to Celestine instead of Brooks. Celestine. How's Kai looking? Uh, Kai needs us from healing. It's kind of, yeah, okay, it's yeah. Celestia said Brooks. Brooks is a little bruised, but not bloodied. If anybody needs anything additional, please let me know. No, that's just the trick. Up. Thank you. I'm going to go over to Jax. Could be walk closer. He's just like, real. They're all fucking real. They're real. Oh, Are you God. okay? <laughs> no. Why? They're real. They're real? They're real. Yeah, the starch god unbeliever is funny. You've been face to face with the god. I, I oh, think, is he having a crisis? I think he's having a little bit of crisis. This is the uh, first time Jax has actually seen a, 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 a god. god? Yeah. Deity, not an elemental. Yeah. It's like Dashu, it's like, ah, uh, elemental, okay, kind of yeah, makes this sense. Is, like, that's like, this okay, is whatever. A god. Yeah, like, Deep a minor Sash god, is, uh, but still a god. Deep Sashlas is like considered a god, you know? True. Yeah. Not handling it well. I thought it was yeah. the, like, near death experience he yeah. had, but no, he's just having to confront <laughs> his beliefs. Well, you know. I mean, you can still believe that they're not. You know. You can just believe they're all powerful beings, rather than just yeah, like that's, actual. That's... On the what is a god mind? if not an all powerful being? I <laughs> yeah. think everyone believes they're all powerful beings, Elazarin. I'm trying to help him out, rationalize his. He'll be fine. He'll, he'll, he'll there is no rationale anymore. He gave you I can't believe it took you 300 nice years to see that. That's, you know, he seems like a nice guy, right? You probably yeah, should identify the. But at what cost? I'm just gonna walk we, we over. Do we to lose our soul? No, you, survived no, you almost fucking died was the cost, right? You survived his trials, and now... We got a little bit hot. I'm just going to walk over to Jack, and I'm just going to hand him a bottle of brandy. <laughs> Slap him. <laughs> I will take the Get brandy gladly and start chugging. It is a like a full bottle of like decent brandy. <laughs> so Celeste kind of looks at it. I can't seem to take it off, so... I'm... Why would you want oh. to? Look how cute it is! What happens, I... if, you a... what happens if you get undressed, Celeste? Does it come off then? Probably. It's stuck to my clothing, no? Look at Davy and stare at him. <laughs> <laughs> is it on my cloak or is it on my shirt? Uh, I like to imagine it's clasping my cl cloak like the hobbits, you yeah, know, where they I have the little... Yeah, that's what I was asking as well, yeah. yeah. I, was, I, was, I was gonna ask, like, does your cloak kind of, like, go, like, over the shoulder off? to, like, here kind of thing? Because if so, <laughs> then it's, it'll be, like, there. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I just, like, see if I can take my cloak off and the pin comes off of the cloak and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah that makes sense, I mean... Just make sure to wear that It's not gonna be pinned to your bare flesh, right? <laughs> if you weren't wearing a shirt, would it get pinned to your... Skin? I mean, probably. No. Nah. You're saying if you're fully, if we were all fully naked at the time. Sure. Would it then just like pin to? Your no, skin? like a nipple piercing or something. You know. Yeah, yeah. Albert. Yeah. I yeah. will never know, right? 
What about a Dice Tower? Jack... Wow. Well, I fucking... Sorry, Jax once again chugging. I'm just like... Jax, when you got over yourself, let us know what you find on the Identify. When he's got over himself? Come on, man. Captain Vera kind of approaches you all. That was something. Indeed. Hmm. Wait, rewind. Did Vera do anything? No. no. <laughs> she has not partaken in pretty much any combat besides the ship combat. She just once, yeah. That's because it's her shot. Yeah. Just refused and to went, shoot a oh, ship. Oh, fuck, and then didn't do anything. That was that was something. Your, your whole ship was almost stolen. Are you and at it? Yeah, it seems so. <laughs> what if we didn't? Yeah. Why don't we just fire cannons at it and the blisters on the side? Well, it can't it's fired up. You ever actually been on, it on was the, the deck with the cannons? Love us. Yeah, they don't know there. that. Oh, that, that seems like something that the gunners should figure oh, out. Oh, you no, you could you could manganel that fucking thing right in the yeah. mouth though. I I did debate it, but you can't fucking shoot it with a cannon. They don't point mm, up. Well, What's no. that much? What's all worked out in the yeah. You know what, Elijah, if you want to carry one of the cannons up onto the main deck oh, so no, no, that no, no. when something attacks us, we can that's, shoot it. That is lovingly not my job on this roll on the ship. I heal up those who are injured, which I have done amicably. So so you accept could... that it's not your role that you that your role on the ship specifically is to heal those that's injured, yes? Indeed. Okay, so when it's not about healing people, shut your mouth. That's f I can still get my opinions on other things, I just won't do the hard work about it. Okay. Like, you can give me opinions on who you want to be healed, or who should first. You know, I can ignore them, or I can take them to heart. I wonder if I could take a cannon to my dad's beach. Oh, dear God, why did I even mention moving cannons? Dad Look what you've beach? done, Brooks. That's nice. Yeah! No one is right back, there, and I'm him. just gonna draw one of my daggers and start heading down to the crew area. <laughs> no, 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 no! Fuck you, bastard! <laughs> uh, Captain Vera will approach uh, Jax as he's as she now sees that he's also in a bit of a in a bit of a state, and kneels down. You're gonna be okay. For the first time, I. Understand. <laughs> There's plenty of things you don't understand, Jax. So you faced a god. Get over it. He gave you a reward. But at what cost? Did he not say? Was there a deal the with cost, the devil? The cost... Gods must be worse than devils. She'll like, as you start rambling, she'll like grab both your shoulders and kind of like shake you. He said what the deal was. You survived his trials, those three fucking omens, and you got rewarded for it to take down that bitch queen that you're going to take out. Now, pull yourself together. Actually, uh, slowly stand up. Pick up the bottle of brandy. And head to the hammocks. And head to the Hamptons. <laughs> Jump off the edge of the boat. <laughs> she'll turn around and look at the party. She'll walk the plank. She'll, she'll look at the party and just, I'll be alright. Yeah, I'll as be he, fine. As he walks out, I just gets chipped to me like, I think he needs some some, some comfort support. Then sends him after Jax. So I'm gonna kill a bird. Just a little bird surrounding him. Be like, oh. little, little, little parrot. <laughs> Just chanting. I okay. kind of, I, yeah. I kind of, um, I lean, I lean over to Kess, and just almost was like, "Is this that I was like on the beach previously?" Yeah, a little bit. That's fine. <laughs> no worries. Cool. Bugger. <laughs> Neither of you seem to deal with your problems very well. Um. I think I dealt with them quite fine. I'm perfectly okay now, Kess. <laughs> Don't you worry. Mm. Just one mm. minute. Yeah, <laughs> we'll like look okay. at you. Hello. You say you're okay, but you are looking at traveling on a pirate ship to deal with some kind of water being as a holiday. How is that okay? I mean, you should. should have seen I mean, how it was back on the fucking land. I mean, to be fair, kind of is. 
Dad. That's what I've had, had what I was doing previously. This is the most relaxed I think I've been for a month since I've met these lots, I think. Aww. I live a pretty fucked up life, I've just realized. <laughs> it's kind of dawned on me quite recently. Mm, I know that feeling. Yes. Oh, you know where we keep the, with the alcohol? No, that won't. That doesn't do the trick. You remember the next day. You can't be drunk all the time. When will you know when you're sober? You remember the next day. She'll, like, yeah. think. Why can't you be drunk all the time? That's it's what I do most know. of the time. You get to a point no, where can... you're so adept and, and, and comfortable being drunk that it's almost like you're sober. For the other people. But, yeah, but you're not. Mm -hmm. the... It's best of both worlds. No. You don't see... Technically, right. I see what you're saying. You will, you, when you wake up, you're sore or sober, so you have to start drinking again the moment you get up. But you can, mm -hmm. you know, have a little top up and keep going. I mean, you don't have to always be drunk. You can be like, you can drink. You don't have to always be drunk. You can be always drinking. It makes you more tolerable. You're drunk. You All right. Well, um, hopefully this is the last of the bullshit. Um. We keep up our routes, we'll be there tomorrow by noon, give or take. So. Listen, Captain, when you're around is long enough, you know, the bullshit never really stops. Everyone can hope. Just wait till you find out there's a coincidence in all of this. Then you'll be half of the course of worse. I'm alright. Sure. <laughs> Just wait until you find out. out it was basically your predetermined destiny by some weird counselor, higher elemental beings. Oh, I don't subscribe to to be that. here in the first place. Nope. <laughs> Just keeps walking. Oh, we have such a way of words with people who aren't us, don't we? <laughs> no, I think we have a way of words with people who are us. I kind of fucking it. hate it's... it. I kind of get it. Does, it. does it count as a predetermined destiny if I kind of just inherited it? Well, yes. Inherited it. Family, Same that happened family to me. trait. I my, my destiny. Hopefully, that's the only family right? trait so... you've inherited, and not you know the creeping disease that will inevitably kill. You. Do, do I see any green on me yet? <laughs> no. You do bits from your breakfast earlier this morning. <laughs> when Vera's out of earshot. You do, but it's when where Vera... has been crying on your shoulder and left like a snotty trail. <laughs> when, when Vera's out of earshot. Mm -hmm. Kai. Celeste. Mm -hmm. Does she ever mm -hmm. fucking do anything? Yeah. When there's not a group of people around that would do the job way better than she could yeah we are pretty good not a fighter then mm -mm. um if she wants to the whole thing of being about, a uh... captain is hiring people that do jobs better than you right so you and um, can just have the best people at the right places she's a fighter but she likes to you know she's the kind of fighter that uh you know throw a handful of sand in the opponent's eyes before stabbing him doesn't really work when you're fighting a big fuck off bird. Yeah, I've she seen fights dirty. Do that. Well, so be it. If you've no problem with it, why should I? Just seemed a little <laughs> bit odd. Nah. Um. Right. Drinks. Hmm. Yeah, I believe drinks are in order, and I'll send Onu up. To the crow's nest, where he can get comfy or whatever he does up there. I don't know. Okay. And I will then... just say that he. Kai will say that he will join in a little bit. Okay. And walks toward towards where Jax went to. To the to like the hammocks, the, the sleeping sleeping yeah. area. Okay. Pull out my jug, my alchemy jug, <laughs> <laughs> and get ready for some wine, baby. <laughs> All right. Um, Kai, anything you wanna? Just gonna check up on Jax. What are you doing? Yeah, just gonna check up on Jax and see how we how see how I find him if he's found his composure a little bit or if he's still a mess. How long has it been? Ten minutes. Probably about half with the bottle. Nice. And sitting there, he just gets. Big cloth of Kai on the back, and he's like, 
But on his other hand, he slides you a bottle of rum. He's been uh, he's been hiding uh, underneath his glove. He just says, "The unknowing can be scary, but the knowing can also give comfort. It all depends what you want out of it." If you need company, the bird is here. If you want company that says more than, are you okay? Are you okay? You know what, right? Dun, 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 X, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, dear X? You know where we can find the rest. You've been struck by a realization. deity. All right, fucking shut up. It was pretty smooth, though, with the water, you know. And he just says that, gives the bottle, and just walks out before Jess can say anything. Okay. And uh, joins the rest. Is Jack just sitting there? Yeah, he's just getting drunk. <laughs> all the choice. The rest of you all uh, have some drinks and uh, chill for a bit. Uh, and is there anything you wish to do with the rest of your day before, uh, you know, evening comes and it's about time to go ready, Bias? I don't do anything in particular, but I would want to just, like, be on top deck at some point and just sort of looking out and just kind of chilling out at the front, um, bow, and just kind of, like, down there, just kind of taking it all in. I mean, uh, having just a moment of reflection to myself. When a Lazarin goes to the top deck, Okay. I'm not going to cut down his hammock. I'm going to go and lift one of the cannons and carry it and put it directly in his sleeping section. Such Hold that on. it's in the way. You're going to lift to a cannon. Yeah. Yes. How much can how Hold on. Average cannon weight. <laughs> it's lifting. I don't have to drag one, but up the stairs is gonna be where I mean, they're on wheels, difficult. but yeah. You can drag one, but up the stairs it's going to get difficult. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> just rages. How just much so does a cannon do weigh? Depends on the cannon, but I mean, it's a fucking hulking, like, cast iron. Old. 626 kilograms with the carriage. There you go. So 626 like what? kilograms? 1,200, 1,300 pounds? Unless I'm looking at the wrong cannon. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Six pound okay. brass cannon weighed the... approximately 1,200 pounds. Yeah, okay. There yeah, you go. yeah. 1,200 to 1,400 yeah, okay, pounds. Either. Okay. Uh, doo -doo, too heavy. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So I can't carry it. No. And it's too big to wheel through the hallways, most likely. Or up the steps. Yeah, you have to like, like find a way. You, you can, can take a couple cannonballs. You can roll it around like over the deck, but then you have to like push it down the stairs, and it's guaranteed to just sink through the, some of the wooden planks that are stairs. You know what I mean? It's... Knowing yeah, like those aren't Brooks, Brooks is gonna go, give one lift to it, realize that it's gonna take more effort than he thinks this joke is worth, and instead he's just gonna go put cannonballs in his hammock. Okay. Fair. Fair enough. Uh, Elazrin, what is, what is, what is, you're, you're, you're chilling. What is Kess doing with, like, uh, the free time she has before, uh, it's time to go <sighs> night-night? Anything in particular? Uh, she is down, uh, below deck, figuring out how to do shadow puppets with her lamp. <laughs> okay. With her hands. Very good. Aww. Uh, Kai, you're just kind of, I'm assuming you're kind of swapping from helm to down, helm to down, to kind of keep, keep the ship afloat? Or yeah. In the right direction. Anything else that Kai would like to do? Or it's time to hit the hay. He wants to find Cass. <laughs> She's just like chip, chip, chip. <laughs> it's a goose. It's fucking sassy in the background. But sassy's hand, yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> um. What are you trying to do? Look, I'm making like a cat. <laughs> oh. With the shadow. I oh. could do it with magic, but like, this is more fun. 
And he kind of just takes a fist out. I can make a rock. <laughs> <laughs> if you smell... What the <laughs> so, you know... I've been around you guys for a couple of days now. Mm -hmm. And... Not that hard to notice, but I've noticed y'all like to play pranks on each other. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. <laughs> it has been way too long <laughs> since there was <laughs> some fun on the ship. It's always been very serious. And like... I know how how do you and water interact with each other? You are you go down on the water? Is that so I know some I've I've seen blue people that don't go on the water, they stand on top of it. Are, are you able to go under the water? Yeah. Yeah. I just don't need to breathe. Hey. Okay. And I will just DM Bell little little thing. Okay. In case if she's uh, up to it. Okay, fair enough. <clears throat> Interesting. How I see you scheming. <laughs> <laughs> While those two idiots are scheming. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, once I've moved. How many cannonballs is inconvenient? Let's say. Like the one would I'm... be inconvenient. I'm gonna oh untie his hammock. But without cutting it, put it on the floor and put like three cannonballs in it and then like tie it back together so they don't all around. And then I'm going to spend the rest of the day to get Dagon to teach me some more signing, which Laura said is fine. Cool, cool, cool. Jax. Mm -hmm. What is uh, Jax spending his day doing? Drinking. Lots of drinking. A little bit of writing. About it. Okay. Davian. Yes, my lord. Anything Davian is doing you know, with, uh, with the rest of his day before it's uh, time to go to bed? Oh, I think I want to give give uh, Kasuth a little, you know, a little hello at some point. Okay. Probably get fucking trolleyed first and then go out on the deck and join Elazarin and just be like... I was like, no man, yeah, wait, fucking pull off my talisman, necklace, whatever you want to call it, and just commune with the homie. I just kind of want to traumatize the last one a little bit, but I, you, you never know. <laughs> like, after the whole thing that happened with Brooks, just be funny, just be like, hey, go on then, gives a show, you know, um, out on the sea, just waiting for Kosuth to pop up and just do some mad shit. Kosuth, Kosuth, um, does show up. This is like fiery vortex, but like looks at you. And One hour around, Just kind of like looks at you and just just pondering, just just staring. Not necessarily like he kind of he's kind of reading the situation, and he just looks very not amused. It's just been you know it's been a little while, hasn't it? And I figured we're off to kill, well, fucking piss off some mother god. So, you know, maybe you might have some advice or like a little bit of help. Or maybe tell me what this thing is. And I'll point at the brooch that we got from the other guy. Okay. Hold. I have to get the voice filter. <laughs> got the voice filter up, dude. Give me a second. Zeus got to take his, <laughs> his voice filter. Yeah. It's in the high pitched ship of one back. Oh, God. Amsterdam. Yippee, da be the do do. Better be do. Mm-mm. Oh. Are you drunk or cold? No. Is that what this is? I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say I'm, you know, it's just I am calling you and I am drunk. 
Fine. <laughs> what would you like to know? What's this thing? Dolphin. Right, but it must do something. I can't take it off. And someone important gave it to us. Ooh. The something sash sashalas sassafras. Elijah. Lord of the Undersea. My my making friends with all the high places. Yeah, right, right. He... I don't know exactly what you did, but rather to his boon. Um, You're not going to believe this, yeah? This might sound familiar, but he had us do, like, free trials. Oh, yeah? No. Yeah. Anyway, um... Okay, puts his hand on your chair, on your chest. Ooh! This is better. Puts his hand on your chest. Is it and, hot? And, uh, uh, comfortable, comfortably warm. Um, mm. because you're... <laughs> and just kind of <laughs> holds it there for a few seconds. All right. Seems that this pin will uh, last you seven days. Supposed to disintegrate itself when the time's up. But until then, you've been granted Deep Sashalas' blessing, that's boom. Which is um, an all round benefit for, for, for both body and mind, really. You might feel it stronger, smarter, charismatic, everything. I feel like that most of the time. Isn't that just what, what beer does anyway? Well, I didn't really feel anything when it came on, and it certainly didn't make Jax's mind any stronger. But I, I'm sure we'll see it some at some point. Well, you know, I'm sure it will help. But any any new of you? Any new in the uh, fireplace? <laughs> fireplace. Not necessarily, but supposed to uh, get you ready to travel to a meeting, shall we say, with some uh, mutual friends. Not other elemental lords or anything, right? Exactly that. And uh, we're going to talk about what to do with this uh, prestigious situation. That's what I've been preparing for. I got, well, the, I got the word a few days ago and uh, trying to get hold of. Uh, trying to get hold of some people that are meant to be present there, but once that is done. Well, if you need the help of any incredibly powerful badass mere mortals you know we'll probably be done with this unbelief thing in a couple of weeks um, this is kind of a, a mental lord only kind of thing but right 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 yeah I'll let you know when, uh, whatever the results of that meeting probably use your help with yeah you, you know I'm sure whatever probably be able to if he needs killing you know <sighs> relax <laughs> oh my god. Uh, this is Lazarin. He's a good one. And knock my head. Oh. Right. Oh, anyway, um, tell. It's kind of it's kind of green. It's just like fire in my hand. It's like orange, like green, the green one's face. You know, tell the other ele elementals I said hello, and, um, you know, if you can send any help or anything, just I'll feel free, know, I suppose. I'll let you know uh, what comes out of this, this situation. In the meantime, 
This, um, other one's here. It's over my thing. Hmm. Oh, oh, he's the... Yeah, he knows what he's... Yeah, right. <laughs> yes. Anyone else in your family know to talk about this? So let's start with your granddad and father. Which one was it again? Let me start with, we'll start with my granddad, now my father. That's no, as funny no, as I did. No records of anyone prior to your granddad? I'll be honest with you, I didn't really check because I just thought it was, you know... Senile old men being senile, not oh, by the way, it's some grand weapon from the before times of an ancient war. I've not really had much chance to look into it either, unfortunately. Rats, dangerous enough to wipe us all out, which is the reason why I've locked it away where we have, you know. Indeed, once I get onto dry land and have access to records, I'm sure I'll look into it. Yes, please, and, uh, I mean, tell Daddy and he'll tell me, or Hess will tell her, 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 you know, family, and uh, that's me, one way or another, but we, uh, have to discuss something about dealing with this issue. That is also a topic of discussion. Well, depending on the outcome, might have a little meeting of our own. You all, you, know, you all is, is in your group, and all of us to really talk about plan. You know, you know, for fleshy humanoid beings, we're pretty, you know, pretty all right. Yeah, I chose to be my representative, didn't I? Something. Precisely. Human. Precisely. And I'll put it to good use. Uh, to prepare for this, I would like for you to find some information and to read it to the third of the elements. I'll be handy to have the information before that, before we summon you for this meeting. Hold on, wait. Say that again. Throne of the elements. For what? The throne of the elements. Right, 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 right. Just read up on your elements, I suppose. A little bit of reading, a little bit of light reading. Mm -hmm. Elijah, it sounds like your kind of thing. Mm-hmm. In your work. Indeed. Um, Dutch, am I able to make an insight check on him based on because I wanted it slightly earlier? Um, he had the recognition of me. Can I tell if that's from... Because Davin has said stuff about me, or he has heard it from other sources. And it seems like it's a, oh, haha, -ha, Davin said about you. Like, and how he said it in his recognition. He was like, oh, yes, I've heard about you. Am I able to, like, look into um, that? If not, I'll try. certainly try. It's not hmm. a specific thing you want to discern. Like, did he... Did he... Make any glances at me to imply yeah. that it's yeah, like from it's me. Yeah, like so... it's from Davian. Well, I mean, it's, yeah. only, it's only a nineteen. But... Uh, well, <laughs> you can just deduce that he has indeed heard of you, and of you, you, yeah. your name has come up in conversations. Uh, you don't know. He's not like glancing at Davian when he says it or anything. But you don't, you don't know who told him. Whether it was Davian or you know, Kes said something to her family and they told him. You don't know. But like, yeah. the the. the you've been mentioned to him and with his okay. override like he's up to date on the override yeah. stuff which also means he's up to date about you yeah. and your family yeah yeah that's cool sorry right I would hate to be a party pooper but I have some serious things to do so yeah I'm sure there are more pressing things out there for you to look into than you know whatever and he'll like a fire on his head. <laughs> Eyes full. Fucking drunk Corey again. See what happens. <laughs> and with that he just disappears. <laughs> and Lazar just kinda of chuckles to himself and just sort of looks dead in. You know, as someone who's never sort of met their deity of choice, I'm kind of glad I haven't. You, you look like you're close to um, 
Wow. I mean, you know, having met you, I'm pretty sure she is as well. <laughs> He's probably far more busy. <laughs> is he doing what? Got a whole trade. You know what trade is in this world? Yeah, right, but we're the ones doing it. What's she doing? Just fucking waving for... Oh, hey, hey, this one's a good one. This one's a bad one. Like, well, sitting up the, there in the yeah, fucking yeah. pantheon of... Who knows what gods do on their time? They That's why I didn't him. get one, right? I know what an <laughs> elemental lord does. Dude, Apparently, me. he does that. I don't know. Talks to the other elemental lords about killing other elemental lords, you know. Maybe that's what gods do. Maybe maybe they're, they're now plotting the demise of your precious golden lady and she doesn't know about it. <laughs> well, if that is the case, then... The gods so care about money? I mean, they always they have offerings and like sacrifices. They must have some sort of they thing. They probably don't on. care about money, but... What about in the, the hells they where they have those coins, right? That are like people's souls. Right. What about them? So they have money down there. So maybe, uh, but you know, if you Joaquin probably likes money, right? I mean, probably. What's she buying? <laughs> What's she <you> selling? <laughs> I don't. I don't think she uses the coin. I think it's more of a representation to do good using that wealth. It's using wealth to do good, not using wealth for inherently bad things. However, people misconstrue this and think that <coughs> creating grand companies and hoarding the wealth is doing good for themselves, at least. People can interpret texts how they please. I bet she, like, takes loads of coins. You know those coins that have the holes in and, like, links that's, them all together? That's all the coins. Not all of them. <laughs> Gold, yes. <laughs> right, but not the other ones. Well, yeah. yeah, we only know of the coins of our, you know... Of our overall economic system. Realm, which, right? You yes. know, we don't know what other... Anyway, I bet she takes them all, links them together with, like, string into, like, a little skirt. And she plods about <laughs> in that. Do you think you can make... Do you think I can make something well, like that? <laughs> in theory, could you make garments... You, you've seen chainmail. Imagine that, but with coins. It wouldn't be very comfortable. Neither is chainmail. I wouldn't know. I don't wear it. <laughs> Would it stop an arrow? It's pretty Probably. soft. You What's think your so? guys' uh, passive perception? Uh, mine is 15. I think mine's 16, yeah. Okay, good to know. If you fuck <laughs> oh. <the> fuck you. <laughs> what is it? For starters. Is it? <laughs> and I'll just kind of... No, that convers. I don't know what you were attempting to have done that to have summoned a stitcher. Not a stitcher. Fucking... Oh, no, watch out. Right. Watch out. I'll see. Sorry, I'll see. Sorry. The C egg. It's in there. It's in the brain. Up. Sorry. I'll see. Don't fucking smack me C down. Yeah, gets Jesus in the Christ. brain. Lazarin just feels slightly warmer. Yeah, it's it you again. Like, oh, just. <laughs> Elaz just catches fire. Just oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. Slightly warm. I've never heard of spontaneous combustion, but I didn't know it was. <laughs> I just. I mean. I wasn't trying to pull, I wasn't trying to pull anything. It's just you haven't seen him. Figured, you know, it'd be cool. I need probably should have. I haven't talked to him in a minute. He didn't seem that happy about it, but he also seemed to want to talk to you because, you know, you know, that whole thing that probably shouldn't have said out loud. It so. doesn't. I worry about being asked about the overrides by other elemental lords. Well, it's their prerogative. Yeah. Yes, but I, f I just feel like I'm missing something. I've not been told something that I p think I should know. And whoever is holding this information from me is... I swear we heard something about the Earthman having... Yes. I have... Keys. My family apparently have a connection. Right. Father has... My father said that to me. We'll have to go but... to Earth place. Barsing, say, whatever. Exactly. <laughs> but who knows? <clears throat> we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. And, you know, it seems like Kosuf's all right and Blue and all that. They seem okay. So if this dish is the only bad one. Yeah, there's plenty. Probably plenty of bads on 
both sides how you look at it, but <clears throat> it's too many unknowns and I'm not a huge fan of it, but I'm trying to um you know, not think about it too much. Think about it just enough, you know. Hard to do when uh, a lot's happened. And apparently we need to do some reading about the throne of the elements, which Throne of oh, Elements the I've got to find out more about my family's past and see what I guess causes of death are in my family. Oh, that would be really fun. Oh, you know. I'm sure I can ask someone to do it for me. Go back in the old family tree and find out everyone died. Mm. Not at all morbid. No, but <clears throat> it'd be worse. Anyway, I'm going to bed before I fall off the edge of the ship or something stupid. <laughs> I'll be there soon. Give him a little punch in the arm and uh, make my way down to me hammock. Um, <laughs> as you make your way down to your hammock, Celeste kind of passes you. You uh, you dropped this earlier, by the way, and hands you the note, and she just keeps going. <laughs> it's. Which one of us should give him the actual wording of the note so he has it? I heard it, right? So Yeah. You remember it? You remember it exactly? Ah, uh, Star Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably pretty much all Davian can read. <laughs> Dear Star Mommy and Ponto Onu, but you're the only bird for me. You're a lookout admirer, Davian. You're my guiding star. <clears throat> <laughs> Let's sort of crumple it up. I want it for, just to know it is your handwriting. Yeah, the handwriting. It's hard for you to tell, but like it looks familiar. My handwriting that no one has seen to imitate. I still, I, w I will still maintain. No one has seen my handwriting to imitate it. Anyway. You've fucking written in your journal. Right. Okay. Okay. He's, he's, he's no, yeah, but no one's like really peeked over and studied it. Studied it. seen. Yeah, exactly. I'll crumble it up. I'll that put it in my bag. Of... I'll make my way to my hammock. Probably that... forget about it. Not, that... not Celestia's hammock? Celestia doesn't have a hammock. She has a room. Uh, with that, yes, idiot. we're going to take a break here. Uh, and I'm we'll starving, be back in a few minutes. So I'll be back. We'll be back in a few minutes the for uh, the final bit of travel. Mm -hmm. A few more hours of travel, and uh, you'll get to where you need to be to retrieve oh, yeah. Unreleased Trident. Yeah. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Be, or not to be. be right back. <laughs> hello. Whoa. Hello. Um, hello there. Hello, hello, hello. Good Hi. day. Good day indeed. Oh, oh, indeed. <clears throat> so, it is now the next day. Some of you wake up a bit hungover. Some of you don't. But it is the morning. Um, Captain Vera has uh, entered the the sleeping area to wake you all up. Uh, get your breakfasts, relax for a little bit. But I would like to see you all in my uh, quarters to discuss our next steps. Oh, well, Lazarus slept on the floor. By the way, he saw the cannonballs and was like, "I can't be fucked to deal with this," and just slept on the floor. Very good. <laughs> And just kind he's of, like, he's kind like of, a crick in his neck, you know? Yeah, I had really fucking shit night's sleep, but like, he was just, like, he comes down, sees it, just like, okay. <laughs> As we wake up, like, roll out. Li literally just like, <laughs> next, like, next to on purpose. And when, like, we all wake up, I just go, I assume you're going to be moving those cannonballs for me for tonight. <laughs> if you could be so kind, works. <laughs> And I didn't put them there for sure. I'm moving. Of course you didn't. Sorry. How could I? How wrong of me to accuse you for such things? Because <clears throat> you're probably Maybe. the only one out of us who could actually lift one. Maybe Kosu did after you called him. Jack definitely shot. could, and Dagon could. Everyone can lift them one at a time. Yeah, I suppose Wait. that's true. I'm giving you like a full like. Dirty stare in your deep in the eyes, just like I'm sure they would, Brooks. Wait, wait, what did he call? Cause what did he call him? Estisha. 
Oh my god. I mean, well, probably the worst thing that you could call. Mm. Because oh, he didn't honest. hear it. Mm. If he did, he would have come you back don't know and that? bitch slapped me. Maybe this is his bitch slap. Mm. Cannibal. I doubt it. After on there. Anyway. Let's get our day started, shall we? Mm -hmm. I will spend a couple of minutes changing my spell list to smiley face. Sure. Um. <clears throat> While we're on the subject, though, yeah, your Brooks being up to no good. <clears throat> I was handed a note yesterday from uh, Celeste that she told me was from me, which is interesting. She gave you a note. Mm. What did it say? Star mummy. <laughs> I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. What? I can't find the note funny. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. I fucking know. You, the fucking pair of you. <laughs> Wait, when did I get dragged into this? It was the fucking second that you cracked up, I knew it was your handiwork. Brooks is not that That's eloquent. Funny. Have you know I had nothing to do with the contents of that note. I will say, could have been worse. And at least she wasn't pissed. But she probably thinks I'm really weird someone... now. If someone within our group wanted to play a prank on you, they wouldn't have wanted to do it in such a way that made it actively believable and harmed your your chances of... Uh, I mean, she doesn't know it that well. Like, she <laughs> might believe that I'm that <laughs> fucking weird. Okay, but if someone wanted to put a spanner in, they could have just made it a hate letter. Hmm. Nah, that wouldn't have been believable at all, though. I don't know. Who's going to write a hate... Have you seen her? Who's going to write a hate letter to that? Come on. Unless it was, like, racist. Like, like you fucking fish cat. <laughs> <laughs> so that still walks past. She just walks past. <laughs> <laughs> no. But given, you know, we're already it's sort of sharing that. company with Turtle Cunt, I, you know, I, don't, I think that wouldn't be too believable either. Is Turtle Cunt there, by the way? <laughs> 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 He's just hanging. He just can't have his own quarters. Did I did I have my own place? I can't remember. No, you don't. I, think, you I think it's just the last day. You crash and... uh, there as well. Does the party see Kai when they wake up? Uh, no. Nope. Okay, so he's not here. Nope. Guys, not around. Can't hear you. So anyway, I mean, like I said, it could have been worse, right? But. Pretty fucking weird, guys. Come on. I have no idea what you're talking about. Mm, yeah, right. Mm. I just think the idea of you sending a letter and then trying to play it off as one of us wrote it instead of you just because you're embarrassed is uh, kind of rude. I think the important if I'd question sent, I wouldn't is... be in... Well, if I'd sent this, I would have been embarrassed. But <laughs> I think if, the I'd... More if I left her a note, I wouldn't have been letter given you some beginner introduction into discourse with Celeste? See, this is how I fucking know it was Brooks, because he's trying to play it off like he's done me a favour. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to maybe break the ice over it later? Yeah, probably. Am I also going to inevitably end up calling a star mommy by accident? Most likely. <laughs> Will it be entertaining for all of us when you do? Absolutely. Yeah. Including her, probably. Probably. I mean, you she's never seen know a little what she's into until you get someone in private. Entertained when she handed me it last night saying, oh, I think you dropped something. That's what she said? Yep. Hmm. Interesting. Mm. She probably yeah. meant you dropped your masculinity. <laughs> Jax, if you want to talk about drop masculinity, you need to go scoop yours off the fucking deck after what happened last night, mate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, let's not maybe... I'm not getting into it, I'm just saying, I, you know, pot calling the kettle black at this point. He was sobbing. 
Well, there's nothing wrong with having a healthy no, emotional outlet, little... and it doesn't right. Right. Well, you don't get annoyed right. when someone comforts you. You're fine. And he's drank himself to sleep, like I'm sure most of us did last night, and we all fucking deserved it. So, anyway, what what the fuck are we doing today? More s sailing. sailing. We're going to see the captain, I suppose. <laughs> I think I've seen enough of the sea at this point. It's start, like the whole lower half of my vision is just blue, like tinted blue. It's like, it's fucked. Is, uh, is, is that sounds like is, a medical issue. in the doorway for all of this, Dutch? No, she fucked off. She was just like, yeah, I'd like to see you guys. She's like, wakey, wakey. See you later. Yeah. Get up. I'm not going to talk to you now. Come see me. Pretty much, yeah. Basically. Yeah, we all need to get dressed, get decent. Do you think I mean no one was a, naked? But... A come talk to me. Oh, after you had... for yourself. Do you think that was a come talk to me? After I mean, she you literally said, or... "Come see me in my quarters when you're ready." Yeah, yeah. that's verbatim what she Jack, said. Jack's looking like the guy from Watchmen right now. Okay. Oh what, God. Was... What's Manhattan? What are you talking about? <laughs> was when you're ready, like a. Uh, oh my God! You when you're ready, or when you're dressed, or just when you're ready. I I assume yeah, it's dude. to our dis discretion. If you do want to have breakfast before we go see her, or do we want to have it after? Well, I think we all need to remember that we're still crew hands on this ship, so I don't think we re can really afford to fuck around. We have yeah, jobs to do. Yeah, I, I agree with Davian as much. We pulled off three omens pretty much single handed. I think we have some leeway on what constitutes. We do not life. have diplomatic immunity on the ship with the captain, Kess. This is not happening. Not now. Not again. <laughs> Why it don't we just everywhere. wander over and then we'll go get breakfast after? And... We'll get yeah. breakfast after. Yeah. And if we fuck up and we should have had breakfast beforehand, well, bully for I us. I just don't want to offend her, you know. <laughs> Why? I think she's a pirate captain because... now. I don't know if she's too easily offended. Because yeah. our shenanigans previously haven't. I'm surprised she's not offended by the fact she saw three cannonballs on this deck. Oh, by the way, I found out what the brooches do last night. Um, oh, really? Oh, yeah. As you wake up, uh, I would like you all to edit your character sheets and add a plus oh. two bonus to your core, sec core six stats. What? Plus Wait, two a plus two to all of them? All, all six? six? Yes. It lasts for I seven days. I accidentally rolled a strength check. Lasts for seven days. I have a Wait. plus on strength. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Hmm? How the fuck do we do this? <laughs> Yeah, uh, I just think, click uh, on the modifier. Other modifier yeah, click on the modifier. Uh, you click the actual stat number and then other modifier right. and just make that plus two. Right, okay. And then for we'll each have of to them, remember to remove it later. I'm finally smart. My wisdom is going to be over twenty. Yeah, that's fine. Everyone's accidentally rolling shit, I'm... and my <laughs> yeah, right. chrome is dying. <laughs> Dude. Oh my. My record checks right now. So this is a a a, a buff that lasts uh, seven That's days. That's quite a boon. Now. It's quite a fucking boon. Seven days. Yeah. We need to keep track of the days. Luckily, y'all already are. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. And I assume from now, oh, not 52. Fucking hell, that's a bit of a boost. Jesus. <laughs> 52. Fucking hell. <clears throat> oh. Hell yeah. Guys, I only have a minus one to dexterity now. Let's go! Let's go! He fucking did it, boys! I have a plus Yay. one to strength. Let's go. But I'm drunk, so it doesn't matter. Um, Just as a double check, this is now the third or the fourth? This is the fifth day. No, of the month. Of the month. I know. It's the third. It's the third? I thought so. <clears throat> there you go. Well. Oh. Well. Huh? Huh? I thought you said my name. No, I said it's the 12th. Oh. <laughs> I just said that. Actually, it's the 9th. Oakley, Oakley. Let's go, let's go see the captain then. Alright, so you all uh, get up out of your hammocks, get up to the top deck. Um, is Kai at the wheel? Uh, nope. Is anyone at the wheel? Uh, Why are you spinning so much? <laughs> yeah, the fear eyes at the wheel. Okay. You lot seen? Hi. Is he? Mm. Is he swimming? I'm gonna go look over the edge of the ship. Yeah. <laughs> Would you be able to catch up with the boat? Why would you go swimming? I don't know. And I'm gonna fall. That was pretty fast, right? <laughs> to the water. Oh my. 
As I see Kes so fall see in. You just see tumble over the... Uh, right, why, you, why fall? Like, just as, not <laughs> jump in. You just fall in. As, as she leans, and at that point, the ship kind of does a little, does a little, little, uh, little jitter, and she just tumbles I forward see Kes into fall the water. And and I, I, if I can still see her, I just cast Water Walk on her. Oh, and she's gonna fucking not, hit it like a. Oh the my god! So you cast water. Is that a is, is that a reaction you can do, or is that what? It, it's an action to do it. Okay, yeah. So you see her fall. You just quickly cast water. Let me just water double check walk. it. Let me just double check the uh, time. Oh no, I don't. I just literally. You didn't like, prepare it. I literally just took it out because I was like, I'm never gonna need this. Oh really? Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> so guess Yay. what? You just plunge into the water. Vera just. God damn it! And she just like gives the wheel a yank, raises sails, and just she runs over to to the anchor and just the anchor. And Kess swim. Oh, yes, we've seen Kess swim. Yeah, well, she can breathe underwater. And eventually, yeah, like, yeah, like, but... a little ways away, but the ship does eventually come to a standstill. I run what the fuck to was the back that about? Ship. <sighs> Uh, well, Vera, you see, she's a fucking moron, so... A vibe! <laughs> and Kess starts, vibe. as you start to swim towards uh, uh, the ship, Kess, um, who has the highest passive perception of all of you? I have 16, which I think is the highest. Now. I have 16 now. Oh, I guess that makes mine 17, yeah. Okay. Uh, Elazarin and Davian, you can see a shark fin appear behind Kess. As it just, and eventually, this large shark just like appears, and the, its its mouth opens up, and you see both the shark and Kes <laughs> disappear in the water. You can't be serious. Yeah. She's no, this is a us. prank. No, this is, is a so prank, weird. man. This is a fucking prank. <laughs> no, this is a prank. This is a fucking prank. Is it just Davian that sees this? Oh, it's not me and Elijah. I go, oh, it's not like shock, like. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Elijah are both just looking at each other like. Water walkers. <laughs> uh, I didn't prepare it. I didn't think I'd need it. Why I... didn't you? We were on the fucking water. I'm not going to use it. I don't use it. Don't fall off the fucking. But oh, no, I can't. God. I can't sending. <laughs> Kes, are you dead sending. in a shark? Oh God, help! 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 help, 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 help. <laughs> I mean, Kes, you can reply. Just... I'm not dead. <laughs> 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 oh god, she's screaming! What the fuck? What the fuck? What do we do? What do we do? I know, what do you do? Can I still um, see the shark? It's underwater. Brooke, see, Brooke's is definitely see diving shit. into the water, right? So yeah, I think I'm I gonna have Brooke to as well. diving into the water. I give everyone okay. the 300 foot dark vision before they like, <laughs> Okay. I vomit. <laughs> <laughs> I just jump again. Whoa! So Brooks jumps um, in. It's coming out in front of you and you're diving straight The question that I want to ask the group, mm -hmm. right? Democratically. Yeah. I think Dagon would jump in as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. No, before anyone. I don't. Dagon wouldn't hesitate. Um, okay, so Brooks and Dagon are both jumping in the fucking water. Okay. How far away was she when she was How far away was she when she was eaten? Uh. <laughs> About oh, 60, about, uh, uh, well, at this point, about 60 feet away from the ship, and like in the process of swimming towards the ship, the shark just comes in. Sake. Oh, oh, like, sake. Swimming speed, is it like half movement? Hmm? Swimming speed, is it yeah. like half movement? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But the cat, uh, keep... Brooks and Diagon are both spending a key point to that. Oh, no, we don't need to. It's will... fucking actions, isn't it? Jax guys... will dive into the As you guys are jump diving in, I'm like, don't forget your caps, your breathing caps, don't forget them. <laughs> I can also have feline agility to yeah. double. We, I mean, speed we don't need it. We can just. Um, I, I, I got this. In. I got it. I got it. Uh, right, but Dagon. Movement speed. Kess is. Dagon's Kess, you know? So Dagon's going to be fucking going in. Yeah. Feline agility yeah. just increases movement speed number. So yeah. you, when you double it, every other turn. But is she's only 60 cat. feet away. Yeah. Yeah, but you'd still do it. We can't we dash can. 60 feet, though. Anyway, right? what do we see when we jump we in the water we have underneath the water? Of... Right, you have a movement of 40, which is half in water, so you can dash 40 feet in water. True. Yes. For, for 80. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. You're right. Okay, fine. Uh, and it. regardless, Dagon will be pulling out the stop, so... Dagon will feline but... agility and somehow... Well, it would no, be 60 feet total. Only She's your action. 
Oh, is it? Um, yeah. What do we see when we see it like, go to the water first off? When, off you, uh, when, when you get into the water, you look and you can see Kess like just in the mouth of this shark, just being like 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 swam down. All right. Oh, freaking... Is this considered combat? I'll cast Vortex Warp on the shark. She's definitely used feel and agility outside of combat, though. Like definitely being I'll allow, fucked I'll, with. I'll, I'll allow the use of that. Yeah. Okay. Can I Eldritch Blast the shark? Um. Uh, Actually. <clears throat> Please don't hit me. Question. No. Please Can do. Can we cast spells underwater with somatic components? Well, I guess we have the cat's water breathing, so. Yeah, yeah we have yeah, the cat's water breathing, so you should be fine. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll just catch Vortex Warp, and I'll suck her into my gauntlet and shoot her back out on the ship with the, or shoot the shark out, I guess. Okay. I can't really see her because he, she's inside of the shark. <laughs> okay, so you cast Vortex Warp. Yep. Uh, let me if quickly... this is some fu No, I already let fucking know. Some I bet fuck it's like, I I bet it's like this, Wild I'm Shape, mad. Celestial, some shit is a fucking shark. Oh, I'm going to be so pissed if this is a prank. <laughs> Man. Hold on, let me quickly whip out the shark stats. Is, but Brooks doesn't know that. Is it a gone save? Is. Yeah, gone save. Fails. Um, Sick. So the shark gets teleported, gets spat out on the deck of the ship with Kess in its, in its mouth still. Um, we are all, by the way, in the water swimming after it, the shark just disappears. So uh, Davian is panicking I'm, I'm, at this point. I'm on the, I'm on the deck. Uh, I'm still on the deck. I haven't jumped in. Oh, I just see it come up next to me. I just start stabbing with my rope. I'm like, ah! <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Let her go, you fiend! <laughs> and, uh, we're just underwater, like, she's fucking gone! She's, she's fucking up gone! Here, she's up here! Don't she's you fucking gone! <laughs> Bring her back! <laughs> Bring him back! Eventually, head, eventually man. we'll say that you guys climb back up the ship. Dav or uh, Lazarin, you stab it enough for it H its HP to disappear, and it just poof, you see Kai on the back of the you ship. You fucking <laughs> I <clears throat> now <sighs> in my wild stabbings. <laughs> Am I quick enough to notice this change, or am I still just going? Make a make a make make, make a slight hand check. check. <laughs> Six. You 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 stab Kai just once more before you realize. Oh fuck! <laughs> just roll damage. Oh no! Roll to hit. Nah, just, just roll damage. Okay. Just roll damage. Yeah. For the in the case of in this case, yeah. Uh, eight points of damage. For my rapier. I'll play those. Oh shit, sorry, cut. Actually, I'm not sorry, because fuck you, but sorry. <laughs> oh, Captain Vera just walks up. What the fuck was that? I mean, it must be very serious the last few days, you know, it'd be a little bit of a. Uh, of a laugh after. <laughs> you idiots. I'm just gonna. You all idiots. Uh, you two idiots. I'm going to grab the bottle away. of rum from my bag that Kai gave me, and I'm just going to start drinking that on my way to beer's quarters. I'm, I kind of give Kess this, like, look of, like, weirdly proud and, like, that was pretty good, but, like, seething anger of, like, and disappointment, like, super just like, what the fuck? Fuck is wrong, and just kind of proudly disappointed. Yeah, just like, kind of like that was a good one, but also like, what the? F that's fucked. <laughs> like, Igan is going to look at Kess and simply sign. Would have been nice for you to have told me, and just walk away. Wow, he's, <laughs> such a he's gonna get stroppy at his little prank, but he didn't tell him. That's good. That's good. I just. Oh. Kess, right? <laughs> um, your ability to make other people join in in your pranks <laughs> is. This wasn't I'll, my idea. I'll believe it. You know, it's you know pranks are supposed to be harmless and funny, right? But, I mean, I, I didn't get hurt. Kind of. Didn't chop Kai like just that. got stabbed like 80 times. Fucking drenched. It was his idea. We're all fucking soaking. Why are you yelling at me? He was the one who decided to do this. I just said yes. Fuck off. No, fuck <laughs> off. No, 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 no. I mean, I'm going to insight check. Insight, yeah, insight check it, yeah. yeah. Go for it. Yeah. 
Like, Kes is full of fun. 100% oh, is absolutely Kai. Uh, insight check. Mm -hmm. I got a 13. A, that's a 23. Jesus. Okay. And that's quite low for me. Well, roll a... Roll a persuasion check. Uh, 13. You believe her. This, you believe that this was Kai's idea. I just, like, look, I, like, staring, like, <laughs> deep because I'm like, oh my god. This isn't why Kess lies. I just kind of look over at Kai. <laughs> did, you, did Kai stay on the deck? Is he still just next to us? Or did he fuck off? Oh, he's just there with a big grin on his face. Now, I do apologize for stabbing you. However, just you do reap what you sow when you, you know, do pranks of that. Genius prank. Don't fucking do it again. <laughs> I swear to God. I mean, a great prank. He's never done pranks. Yeah, then it becomes bad. Because next bad. time either of you fall off the fucking ship, I'm leaving you there. I mean, next time I hopefully would have had Warfork prepared, not going to lie. Yeah, this is also oh. on you, dickhead. I thought... Absolutely it is oh. not. Well, Absolutely not. Absolutely not. not. fucking magic water walk on the one, you know, while we're on the fucking ship. That's a great well, idea. Well, it's the last, I mean, last day of the voyage, and we don't know what awaits us on the other side. We haven't needed it. We're not it, on you know. land yet. You know, well, we're just... on the boat. If you'd if you'd cast a water walk on me, would I just slam into the yeah, water? Yeah, you would have fucking like no. slammed onto the surface of the water, pretty much, right? No, I would have waited slightly before. Definitely wouldn't have timed it so you'd have just hit the water back first. And <laughs> well, next time we will, though. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. What the fuck? <laughs> How close is Cast to the edge of the ship at this point? <laughs> uh, I don't have a Devin, so I can't do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, I mean, where did Jax like put the shark? I would assume center of the ship, right? The edge, because that's all I could see. Oh, fair Ooh. enough. She's at the edge then, yeah. Can I just push her off? You can try. I'm pushing her off. Make if I see him go to push me, I want to, like, misty step to the other side. Oh like, my god. Is reaction? <laughs> no. Uh, bonus action? No. Bonus, bonus action. action. Then... Uh, you can fall and then misty step back. Yeah, yeah you can, like, misty I'll, step I'll during misty the step fall, but... But uh, yeah. just make a. That's not fun. Just make an athletics or acrobatics check, uh, Davian. <laughs> Forty. Fourteen. <clears throat> What's your AC, Cass? Sixteen. Uh, well, okay. I'll give you the choice. Do you want to push like, overboard? <laughs> Be pushed. Do you want him. to be pushed overboard and given the satisfaction of pushing you, or do you want to like avoid it? Um. Hmm. I'll let him push me. So you push Kess overboard, and Kess just like starts flying down uh, again. <clears throat> How high is that? Hold on. What is your problem, Davian? <laughs> no, 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 Fuck no, no, no. you! No, no. Like, what did you push over more? Probably about 20 feet or so, I'd imagine. I was thinking. Uh, We're not going anywhere. She's fucked. Like a huge I'm boat. soaked fucking Sadly, water. due to uh, not being a reaction but a bonus action, by the time that you're finished casting Missy Step, it will be like... It'll be like... Kablunk! And then you manage to Missy Step back on top of the ship. So you do get... Plunked, unfortunately. Mm. Just the that. cast time. Feel better? Right. A little bit. I'm just going to put this out there. What mm. fucked up situation are we in where I have to be the sensible one? Don't fucking dive off the ship. Don't push anyone off the ship. Don't we go in anywhere. Stupid when we're like fucking half a day's fucking sailing away from where we're supposed to be actually, you know, risking our lives and shit. You're all fucking morons. I'm going. No, it's a good sign, Brooks. It's a good sign. I walked over to the captain's quarter where Jax was going, and I also pull out a bottle of alcohol. What's a good sign? Well, that we're all in high spirits enough to fuck around. True. Well. I'm mad at you, Kai. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. I'm a little bit pissed. <clears throat> we're fine now though, right? Because you pushed me in the water again? No, we're fine. Cool. 
And I can't really be mad at I I don't know Kai well enough to like, oh I'll get I'll get get him back. Yeah, you could. I could okay, well, you know. I don't really have a devious bone in my body. Oh, there's a spike. Ah, uh, that's not true. Yeah. Righty. <clears throat> as uh Kai's little prank I mean, pretty much went as expected, I feel like. It's fucked up, OSG. Um, Just so I need to know fucked. that, man. I want it's really to messed be known up for the record. Just a little bit of fun. Brooks is going to get changed and come back. <laughs> I'm going to ask Jax to press the digitation me dry, so I don't have to get changed. Yeah, true. That's a that's a thing that he can do. Yeah, yeah. Go, I want Bing. to though. Hey Jax, you dry me. I'll give you a bottle well, of you know. uh, honey orange mead. Done. <laughs> cool. I'm now dry. I'm wearing my pirate shirt and cargo shorts today. <laughs> Nice. Uh, so do you all eventually gather in Captain Vera's office? Yeah. Yeah, you're you're there. Uh, Celestia is there as well. Vera Vera sits at her desk. HR meeting. <laughs> First of all, what the fuck was that? Oh, yeah, she's a fucking helmsman. How about that? What the fuck was that? She'll look at Kai. Is that your idea? I mean. Have you seen the things we've gone through the last three days? Just to oh, keep no, the moral no, up just, a I didn't bit. know you had it in you. And, I mean... Just didn't know I've you had it in you, that's all? I'm surprised. I've been on the ship long enough. I've picked up some, some tricks. Hmm. Interesting. Right. Anyway. A um, few hours from now, we'll, we'll, we'll arrive at... The islands we were supposed to be at. Um, I'm going to stop the ship like a, like a mile out just to, uh, to make sure that nothing funny happens to the ship as I'm going to have to keep it afloat long enough for you guys to return uh, when you're when the job is done. So you'll be doing the last mile on a couple of rowboats to get to shore. I'm sure there's nobody you know you got some strong people among you that can uh, that can do that for you right? Among us. What? Hmm? Anyway. So. <clears throat> when you get there. Celesti, Kai. He'll be, he'll be accompanying them. During this uh, leg of the adventure. Um, what's the plan? What are you guys going to do? Find a killer. Come back. It's that easy. Hmm. Well, the best plans tend to be the simplest. Occam's razor or something. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. You never heard of that, but sure. And usually our plans go bad, so why plan? Better to have no plan, and then it can't go wrong. No, Not too bad have... yet, though. So we we don't really do plans. We do vague outlines, and then we fill in the blanks as we go. It's it's more flexible and adaptable. Well, Someone's call it a. Luckily for you. And she'll have Celesti. Did a bit of scouting ahead, uh, Celesti, and Celesti will take over. Yes, um, uh, quite early this morning, I don't know, like three or four hours ago, I uh, you know, used the magical means I have to my disposal and, uh, you know, talked to some fish, and uh, they talked to other fish, and they came back with an answer. I asked them what to expect when, to, when we get to that island. Uh, apparently, there's a village. Um, they describe it as a village made of the same thing we're on, which I'm assuming they meant, you know, like broken ship parts, and they kind of fashioned it into a village. Uh, they did say that the people they saw um, weren't blue or anything. They seemed, um, you know, they described them as best they could and uh, seemingly human. Um, so my best guess is that at some point, a crew shipwrecked there and have lived there off the island and the resources they could find there ever since, fashioning their shipwreck into somewhat of a of a home for them. Um, oh, that's kind of cute. Well, is it? A little dangerous. I wouldn't like to live in that situation, but there are people there. Uh, I don't know whether it's <laughs> good or bad, but... We're worthy to know. Um, I don't know whether you think it's best to avoid them or perhaps I don't know, make our acquaintance, see if they know anything. 
S picture in some like shabby chic converted farmhouse, <laughs> like. Oh, I mean, they surely would be able to tell us something if they're if they're living there now. They might have some idea of the layout of the place, and surely it'd be worth trying to make some sort of contact. Yeah, the They'll probably be um, wary of outsiders. The island is oh, isn't isn't is very big, but it's also um, it's small enough to never have really been charted, but it's 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 sizable. Um, I've been yeah, told, you never know what dangerous wildlife they might know. I've been told that there to is uh, a lot of rocks, some some hills, mountains. Uh, not much in the form of trees and shrubbery, but. Um, they did, um, say that, um, those were the only n people they, 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 they've seen there, so, I don't know, it, I personally think maybe it's worth checking out, you know, being, being wary, of course, but perhaps they can give us a lay of the land a little bit. Any information is better yeah. than nothing. Or oh, they're all cannibals that serve some deity and are gonna harvest our hearts to eat them and absorb our power. Well, fantastic news, Jax. If that happens, you can go first. Have you read a, that in a book or something? That seems oddly specific. <laughs> it's very specific, wasn't it? Your brain doesn't just run simulations of the worst possible scenarios? No. No. Sometimes. It I don't think Kess has a brain. Oh, Which that is very true. Certainly not after today. What the fuck? <laughs> anyway, um, so that could be a, a, a place to start, I suppose. Uh, I don't know, you know, it's up to you. Uh, if you want to vote on it or something, but my vote would be, it might be worth, you know, being, keeping our guard up, of course. Um, seeing good if thing. we can figure out some, even if it's not directly approaching them, maybe spying on them, see if they... I mean, if they aren't friendly, what are they going to do to us, yeah? We killed a big bird. It's true. We killed a it's big true. bird. <clears throat> oh, yes, the slaughter innocents. Well, no, no, I'm saying if they're not innocent, right? If they start, you know, throwing sticks. Well, around. who's to decide if they are innocent? We don't have to I... kill them. We can just I mean... knock them unconscious and then leave. Part of me wants to say that if we wander into their fucking home, they're sort of entitled to throw shit at us. Yeah. We, well, if we walk in more friendly and peaceful, then the, the, the uh, impulse of probing that us surely makes them worse people than us, and therefore we would have every right I don't to... Know, well, put yourself in that position. How would you respond if you, you're sh shipwrecked? You make a living with your crew on a, 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 a you know an uncharted, unknown island with no inhabitants, and suddenly people show up? I personally I probably, probably want to go home with them. Right? That's what I was thinking. Uh, Mm -hmm. um, I would actually take the people hostage, uh, negotiate for them to uh, take us back to land, and then release the hostages uh, upon our own. You wouldn't just ask, hey, we're shipwrecked here, can we catch a ride? How do you plan on ransoming them? How long have they been In there? the middle of fucking uncharted nowhere. Uh, the, 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 the fish didn't know, but they described them as hairy. So probably a while. Why don't we just find out when we get there, and... If they don't want us there, rather than kill them all, we just leave. Yeah. That could work. Having come from a people in a similar situation, they, my people would probably um, chase the outsiders out. And then jump off a, bro a boat. Well, Vera, in the you know event that they do want a ride back to civilization, would you entertain that idea? Yeah, of course. I'm not horrible. I'm Most of the time. Sure. Got the space. Because well, that could be a nice, we, we, nice we little bargaining chip. We have the space now, with uh, the majority of the crew not being with us on this trip. So, yeah, we can... And that one guy who fell off. And that one guy. That's a sore point. <laughs> yeah. Disposable Dragon Ball number three was my favorite. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's a shame, but... Uh, His name was... Rick. With a K, Rick. not a C. <laughs> right, because that wouldn't be very Dragon Ball if it was just Rick with a... You know. mm -hmm. Exactly. Anyway... Ricky! <laughs> into a Dragon Ball. 
<laughs> we have the space, and uh, it's only a five-day journey back to uh, Aldeon, so we can we can take him with us, of course. I feel like we should right. see when we get there. I mean, I can always communicate with you. I see yeah. what you did there. Other than that, um... Cass, can you throw him overboard? The lack of, uh, you know, trees Ooh. and forests, just rocks and, and hills and mountains, um... They didn't really, like, maybe the people can tell us more, but do we reckon that, you know, being this being a water-based, powerful being, we're looking for some cavern that maybe. leads underground into, like, that an is... underwater? Area. I imagine there's going to be a lot of underwater. Oh, fuck, it's, I should it's... turn Onu into an octopus again. Oh, yeah, mm. or do we reckon... Yeah, that's what I was trying to, trying to gauge, is do we reckon we're going to be entering a bunch of places that are flooded, we'll have to swim through? Probably. Yeah, I think so. Mm. Should be able to deal should with that. I should be able to help you all a little bit as well. Um, I'm good. You breathe underwater? Yes. Yeah. I don't need to breathe. To know for when we all fucking choke you after that. Have that's not, how, that's not anyway. how that works. I have the same thing. I don't have to breathe underwater, but if you choke me, I'll die. I just have to hold my breath. Look at Davian. I can breathe underwater, but I can hold my breath for a little bit. Okay. Um, if necessary, I just change into something else. Right, yeah, of course. Like the shark. Yeah. Okay. Um, what, good. What, what a wise use of that ability. Ah, uh, we can wild shape pretty, 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 very often. To be fair, it's not that big of a deal. And then when you run out, you just quick, quick, quick break, quick break, and boom, you're back in action. I have that. It was pretty helpful. <laughs> Um, okay, then I suggest, um... A refactory period. <laughs> Fuck you now. <laughs> I suggest that, uh, for then, that's where we start, and then from then on, I mean, I don't know what we'll find, what we'll see, what we'll learn, but... We'll, uh, make sure that we pay a visit to those people and see what we can learn. Is it good plan? Very good. Okay. I don't know, right. have you figured out what these pins do, by the way? Because I feel a lot... I feel better. Yeah, they yeah. just make you stronger for a week and then they disappear. That's pretty much it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty nice of him. Uh, Vera, well, longer than a week would have been alright. Alright, sounds like a plan then. Um, anything you lot wish to discuss with me before we uh, get there? Not with you per se, but with the group. If it is necessary. I might have some means for at least one person to get closer to the village without really being there. Mm -hmm. So there might be an idea when we get there and scout the area a little bit. So we'll be like, hmm, if we, if we don't trust it straight away, there are means to get a little bit closer. I could just go invisible. Okay, well, let's figure it out when we're on the island, because I'm fucking yeah. hungry. <laughs> Alright, yeah. um, should get there three more hours or so, so get ready. Cool. Thing happen. Jax, mm. can we have a word when all of your friends leave? Um, of course. Okay. Bye! Bye. Go to breakfast. Uh, can you hold that for a quick sec? Of course. Yep. Uh oh. Well, we need to do that. Are you okay, Jax? I'm fine. You sure? No, I'm not okay. Everything I've believed for the. 300 years I've been alive is a complete lie. How's that? Well, apparently there are beings that have power beyond our control to actually be able to manipulate our circumstances. And... And we're just at their whim. 
<laughs> oh boy. Listen, Jax, I've known you for a very long time, alright? You are one of the smartest, but at the same time also one of the dumbest people I've ever had the pleasure and displeasure of getting close to. The fact that you now realize that there are creatures out there with, with power beyond what we, uh, with our simple minds, can comprehend doesn't mean that anything else you've done in your life is a complete lie. Your your inventions aren't a lie. Your 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 skills as a navigator and your skills as a tinkerer aren't lies. Well, of course they're not lies, but it's 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 could I have done more knowing that they existed? Could I have studied them? Could I have harnessed their power? Could I have changed things? You sound a lot like a maniacal, evil person that is ready to have like a 15-minute monologue before he's about to face his worst enemies. Calm it down. Uh, well, I wouldn't do it to hurt anyone, but there are things we could do. We could save people. I understand. But sometimes all you can do is the best with what you have at your disposal, and that's it, and you have to... Have peace with that. You have already done and made and helped your friends, for instance. How many have you yourself, with your knowledge and your uh, expertise, saved them from death, for instance? Uh, maybe one or two of them. Didn't need any divine intervention for that, did you? Well, no, but with divine intervention, it's even easier. The, no? Listen. Gods exist, sure, whatever. Most of them are dickheads. You, well, bad example, you're also a bit of a dickhead. But so am I, so it's fine. But listen, what I'm trying to say is, the fact that you now believe or understand that there are creatures out there, you know, deities, gods, if you will, doesn't nullify or make the things you can do without their help or their powers any less meaningful I just don't want you to start spiraling because I know you I do appreciate that I I don't think I want to spiral yet it's just well I when we shipwrecked and I I had a family and her eyes like kind of mm -hmm. when I lost them wait lost them they were killed um I'm so sorry I didn't I didn't know I don't know if you heard about Portadino is that the town that got demolished by some kind of mechanical... Yes, uh, we were living there and... Just happened to be wrong place, wrong time. Wow. Uh, I'm... Sorry, I did... I... Man, that fucking sucks. Yes, but... I had somewhat come to peace with it, um, you know, chasing down a few leads about it and everything, but... Do you think it was on purpose? The destruction of that town? I I don't know if the destruction of the town was on purpose. I don't think it was my family was the target, per se. I just don't want anyone else to lose their family. It's the only reason I want to track it down. That's why I... Learned any, more about mechanical little things. Any leads? Um, there's a man that bought, you know, property around there, and I need to go sniff it out, but uh, there's plenty of time for that later on. Uh, but the point is, knowing that deities actually exist and whatnot, it gets the mind running. You feel like maybe they, they have could have saved done something? Them. And why didn't they? Why do people die? You know, Why do diseases exist? Why does war happen if there's so many deities? 
something we'll never well, know. Well, apparently but... it's because they're all fucking cunts. The majority of them, yeah. And I'm sure there are some that do good. You know, there are no absolutes. Oh, of course. But it's just... Is it ever... What I enough? like to think is that, you know, the good ones, they can only be at so many places at the same time, right? It's like you say. I suppose. But... I, I am truly sorry. Uh, you had a family, so... What? Wife? Kids? Yes, a wife and two kids. What was her name? Uh, her name was Marissa. The kids? Uh, my son. Uh, his name was Jordan. And his sister, Jamie. Okay. Well, now you know what your purpose is, why, why you do what you do. Sure, it was... It, it, it puts you on a path. A path to do good. It's a shame that that was the catalyst of, of you beginning this path of, of, you know, what you're doing now, but it drove you to where you are. Try and, you know, without that event happening, you would have never met your friend. She would have... We would not have... Uh, uh, Met again after our shipwreck. It is, I, oh. I don't. I'm not saying be glad it happened, right? I'm, I, I am saying that, you know, there's there's some good. Well, there's nothing can change it now unless you can turn back time. But of course, that's silly. I'm sure as hell have no idea how that would even. Uh, I did the physics of it. Are massively impossible. I'll take your word for it. Um, <laughs> what I'm just trying to say is, um, it happened. But, you know, if, if you needing to find closure is to figure out is this this lead you have, do that. But do keep in mind that, you know, in the, the chapter that happened after that chapter, the story of your life, good things have happened. Try and seek some form of comfort in that, right? No, I mean, life goes on. What are you going to do? That it does. You know. I, um, like I said, I'm truly sorry about, I didn't know, I'm truly sorry about, about that, um, need help, you know, I'm gonna be doing my research on tracking down the bastards that shipwrecked us, so if I'm doing reading and research, you know, if you have any information that you want me to look into while I'm in Eldilon, gladly help out. Um, well... Through notes for a name. <laughs> uh, just a Ricard Pierslow. I don't know if that's his real name or more just an alias. Ricard Pierslow, and she like. Alright, so I'll uh, give it a look. He's the most promising that I have, so. Is that the guy that bought the property? Uh, yes, and uh, from what I could tell from the attack after, it came from the direction of where he did buy the property question is why <laughs> but we'll figure that out one thing at a time mm. just now try... we just have to survive an undead witch a undead pirate actually pirate which is to be fair after some of the things you've already faced peanuts right and that is true we did just fight a giant bird that melted into water exactly You'll be Which fine, Jax. I just don't want you. I just, I just don't want you to, you know, forget who you are because of this realization that oh shit, gods do exist after all. After fiercely denying it for what three hundred plus years. Give or take. Right. You know, maybe as a kid, I believe. Just don't lose yourself. Because that would be a shame. I, I think it'd be hard with the people I'm with now to completely lose myself. I can tell they care about you, if that means anything. And I can tell that you care about them. Yes, perhaps a little too much with their antics. <laughs> it's a little funny though, right? It's kind of funny. It was, it was well orchestrated. This I one. can't tell her that. She'll oh, do of course, something of course. crazier every time. Can't give her the satisfaction, but you know. No, and... You know, her ego will get inflated, and then it becomes, Oh, I'm going to jump off a building, you know? Uh, 
I can tell, yes. Just, um, you know, I care about you and I don't want you to turn a bad leaf or spiral out of control and lose yourself, so just please try to hold on to the good and not so much the bad. It's always the struggle, isn't it? <laughs> I mean... Life has been interesting since I shipped. It was a lot simpler before I shipwreck, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Uh, take the loot. Take what you want. To be killed and just exactly. live life. It's so much easier now. You know you. And now I have to worry about good, evil. Now you're dealing with that, be... and I'm out here dealing with, with with people that I shouldn't talk about. But that's let's say, simple who to is, say. Who, who did put you on this path? I'm afraid. That even though I deeply care about you, uh, I swore a blood oath, so I cannot disclose this information. But it goes that deep. Did you swear a blood oath with a god? <laughs> Don't tell me that. Sort of. Not this, well... More like... A higher being that ascended and took over a spot at the table of the gods from somebody else. So technically, I suppose, a lesser. So a power-hungry fool. No. Oh, D Jax, no. No. Stop. What? I, I don't know what you're trying to insinuate. I would never care to be a god. I'll kill you. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure old age will do it first. You got you got a few more in the tank. Uh, after that rock fight, uh, who knows? All right, just take care of yourself, all right? I will try my absolute best. Very good. <laughs> Alright. Get out of here. Alright. I will head back out to the crew. Alrighty. There we go. Guys. Something's Bummy wrong. Uppies! Mm hmm. Probably was busy looking at memes. I'm gonna memes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, Jax emerges from the captain's quarters, and uh, a few hours later, unless there's anything pressing you guys want to do, or then, the ship slowly, you know, the sails are being raised, and you can see. Wait, I want to turn into an octopus. Sorry. Oh yeah, you can do that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, and you stop about a mile Sounds out cool, from right? uh, from an island. The island, as you can, as you look at it from about a mile out. Uh, hold on. Do, 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 do. Uh, small. It's it's more like a cluster of islands, but it's kind of like connected by this uh plot of sand. Where if it's high tide, it's underwater, but if it's low tide, it's all connected. Kind of kind of thing. That's so like high tide is like three smaller islands. Low tide, it's just one big island. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Um, no tree life, just mainly just sand, rocks. Uh, but you do also see a towering rock uh, hill, like a, like a rock hill uh, with a large waterfall kind of like falling down from it. Uh, and you do also see on the west coast of this island, this like small cluster of just like wood and uh, people running about. All right, this is your stop. Um, just let me know when you're ready to lower the rowboats and send you on your way. Is there anything we all like? Have we all got everything we need before we walk off? Yeah, I have everything. As I'm all good. As we're kind of observing, do any of them seem to have spotted the ship? I feel like. Uh, yes. Yeah. The ship has been seen, and you can see three people, um, human-looking, uh, yeah. kind of getting to the shore, and just...
with a big two-handed like no just a, just a just a wave just a one-handed yeah wave. no i'm giving one wow. of them back <laughs> Cass is waving are we just like rowing out there in like a little dinghy yeah. We're about to. A yeah. little quip you. They've they've seen you. Um, we're on a gig. It'd be kind of hard to miss us. We'll be no. uh, we'll be circling. Um, try and you know if you can keep me in the loop. What's going on there? Uh, whatever is at your disposal. But we'll be around. If we don't hear from you in a couple of days, uh, we'll uh, turn around. I suppose. No, you won't even come looking for us. I might, but I'll bring back up. Yeah, all right. Well, so we either have about you know a few days, or we have to survive for a few weeks. No problem. You'll be fine. They did it. Yes, yeah, so we're probably about to find oh. out how. <laughs> right then. That sounds like the present. Uh, how are we? What is it? Two uh, rowboats we're going yeah, out in? How are we splitting being, these up? Being lowered. I so, will row one of the rowboats. I will take a coxswain position on one of the rowboats. I mean, you, <laughs> would. you would want the cock in position. Celeste so hey, just kind of steering baby sinks herself into the water and just decides to swim along the rowboat. Is Kai is Kai taking a rowboat or is Kai swimming? <laughs> being a Deck. Kai is taking a, a boat. All right, he will be doing some uh, some rowing until Davian pushes him out of it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nah. I'll, like I'll sit. I'll sit in a Lazarin's uh, rowboat. You mean my rowboat? Uh, that's the one you're there's rowing. Two. Yeah, there's two. The one there's... that Lazarin's getting cocks in or whatever. So and, and the yeah. one that Jack's, Jack's isn't in. Jack's no, I'm, I'm in the one. Jack's is not oh, okay. it. So I'm you're in Kai's. <laughs> Kaiser right. says which one he's going in. <laughs> he said he's going to do oh, some rowing. in the other boat. So if he's yeah, rowing the other boat, I'm rowing yeah. one, he's rowing one. Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. Davy and Kai in one. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And. Uh, Kestag and Brooks in there. Kestag and Brooks yeah. uh, with you, Jax. It's a quite pure yeah. gig. There you go. So. Sorted. Um, you row the boats to the shore, and yeah. when you get there, you pull them ashore, and immediately two people approach you, and they, they, they are human. Uh, not wearing clothing per se, they're wearing like a loin cloth, but uh, you reckon the, you know, the clothing they were wearing they probably used to kind of do something here. Uh, very long, like, uh, not necessarily dirty, but definitely like greasy beards. Uh, but one of them, their head kind of clean shaven, the other one, um, definitely has it like, like has tried to kind of cut it with like a, a knife or a blade at some point so it's not super long hello hi oh you speak common great oh, we do yeah. what what are you doing it's here really common um we're searching for something really yes wow not you unfortunately oh, oh but... it's fine didn't really expect um well, uh, uh, I don't. It's just crazy. I've. We've been here for a while, and. Well, let's just say you're the first people we've seen since. Holy. When you, uh, when you say you've been here for a while. Here? By choice, or. Oh. Points at the town, or like the small village that is clearly made out of, like, their shipwreck. Not by choice. Mm. Uh, okay. How long have you been here? Uh, has it been two or three winters? Uh, something, something along those lines. No one's come past in years. Nope. Uh, well, we are outside normal shipping lanes. There's not very many patrols out here, mm -hmm. unless you're searching for something in particular. Going on vacation. Our out ship here, got you picked up by a big fucking fly. bird. Oh, ah. yeah, really? yeah, the same yeah. happened to us. We just that happened to us. So you're saying all we had to do is not kill the bird and it would have brought us here? I don't know. It would have saved us a whole day. Yeah, and then yeah, we, we would have been able to get not... back. True, and we wouldn't have gotten, point. you know. Um, would you, do you, do you, uh, do you need anything? Uh, we can take it to our, I mean, to our captain, or uh, I guess uh, uh, he uh, was the... our captain. He's now up. 
Maya, but okay, a, a few a few ground rules. Uh huh. While you've been on here for like three years, mm -hmm. nobody's turned to cannibalism or anything weird like that. No, there's an ocean full of fish. Ah, cool. Okay. He doesn't have any weapons on him, does he? Uh, he yeah, has they... one like knife, like a like a like oh, okay. a dagger. Okay. 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 Um, we should go and discuss. All right. Well, we'll, we'll be we'll be right there in the in the village. Uh, yeah. Just uh. No, I, I meant. Uh, we'll probably happen, you know but... we can have some. We, we, uh, uh, captain Mayor. Sorry, Mayor. He's not a captain anymore. Captain is on a ship. He's a village Mayor. Whatever. He um. He he, he, he brews a mean grog. So if you want to get, you know. What's your name? Uh, then... My name's Clark. This here is Spencer. Um, former Spencer. former crew of uh, the hold. The Clark and Spencers. <laughs> Clark and Spencer Trading Company, actually. A weird merger between Clarks and Marks and Spencers. Where they sell shoes they, now. They make, well. they, they make shoes, but they do extravagant Christmas adverts. Right. <laughs> There's like a, a shoe like former, with chocolate being drizzled of, over. Uh, the ship called the Bold Daniel Venture. Shoe. Now residents of uh, of Boldville. You know, Is that Boldville? Same, like, bring any mm -hmm. bells That's in my... why he shaved his hair. Have no, I ever heard of that bold ship? Bold with an O, not, not an A. Uh, make a history check. Fuck. Just, I don't know, I, I'm assuming probably not, but... Oh my god. Plus nine to history, so 27? Nah, it doesn't ring a bell. Okay, cool. Well... What you say? Show us the way, show us around. Uh, yes, please show us the, uh, mayor clock. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. And, uh, they'll, like, escort you to the town, and you can see about 10-ish Kind of like houses made with the with whatever driftwood they could find as well as their own shipwreck but there's one larger structure that is pr pretty much the entire like back half of the ship fashioned into one structure you can still see the name the bold venture kind of like on the on the back left side of it um uh, so yeah this is our humble village uh there's like 10 15 of us uh, around including Oh, Maya, um, it's not much, but it's home now, I guess. Do you have family back? I mean, yeah, but I mean, it's been been so long that we think I'm dead and moved on. No, typically how that goes. Where are you from? For years, I mean, I might think you're dead, but moved on's a bit dark, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, they're probably still sad. I mean, I don't know. I mean, listen. They might set the table for you every Christmas or something. Hope not. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Uh, this ship uh, uh, was was made in in in, uh, in in the port town of Whisperdock in Sigalia. Are you from there as well? Yeah, born and raised. Oh, Sigalian man. Mm -hmm. All of us are really. How would you end up out here? Hold on. Well, I don't know. We were on our routes, and this big fuck of bird showed up, and suddenly we were here. Right. How long was the bird carrying you? Do you know? A day, two, maybe. So it's from a long way out then. Well, listen, at some point you're so high up that if even if you get the bird to let go of you, you're certainly dead. So at that point, you're just along for the ride, right? Did yeah. you all just hide underneath the, the below deck so it wouldn't kill you? That's exactly what we did. <laughs> Makes Question. sense. Question. You, you, you talk about a bird. Have you also seen ghost ship warships by any chance? <laughs> no, you're crazy. What? So this bird was just fucking with you for the sake of it. Okay. That's funny. Who uh, did you piss off then? Uh, I mean, you know, who? Like, I don't, I don't think suppose... they did anything like we. No, did. no, 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 no. I'm just. I, I mean, don't suppose you know sea, about. We've heard of you know sea titans before. Never thought they were real. No, we I'm there, not. There they were. I'm saying. I'm saying. No, I'm, you I mean, know, like sea don't... titans, as in that's what pirates. A pirate Shh. call. Birds of that nature, we call them sea titans. Sailors. It's right, but I'm just saying, do you know about deep sashalas or... Well, one of the many water-based fuckheads, right? The... I wouldn't say that. Yeah, so these sea titans are just a regular occurrence, though. 
Well, it's something that every sailor will, will get told of. It's a very rare sight. They're just these monstrously big birds that do exist. And they live in far off, fuck off lands, isolated. But every once in a while, you know, when it needs to build a new nest, it's, you know, it, rumor has it they look around and, well, let's just see that normal tree branches and stuff really won't cut it. So they make their nests out of entire villages and trade caravans and ships that they find. How did you survive the fall, or did it set you down by the time you got here? Um, it's a bit of a blur, but uh, we got here. Well, we flew over this island, and at that point, the bird had been carrying us for for a couple of days, like I said, and we just heard a crash, and suddenly, the bird just kind of fucked off, and we were there, like on the beach. So we uh. After a few days of cursing out all the gods in the known the unknown realms, we decided, mm, fuck it, this is our home now. And we uh, mm. made the best with what we had, really. It's been alright, to be fair. The first couple of months were a bit of an, uh, you know, adapting, but since then, it's been alright. Quite peaceful, actually. Early white sands, wherever you look, you're good. Well, if you have any interest in going back, well, maybe not to Sigali at least right away, but back to... Civilization. Oh, civilization, I suppose. Oh, I can tell you exactly where. But... Shit. Um, I don't know, to be honest. Um, depends on what the captain... Uh, Mayor. I keep wanting to call him captain. You know, it's what 20 years of being in a service will do to you, I guess. Uh, depends on what he says, really. He's kind of... Uh, we look to him to, to see what we do next, kind of. Oh, maybe you've, can been, get you home. you've been away from home for three fucking years. Uh -huh. And you're going to leave... It up to a cat that a mayor as to whether well, or not things you, here aren't you really go all bad, you know. It's it's all right. It's peaceful. Yeah, but you don't get a democratic you, you say. Don't, you, you personally don't. Well, no, want... he discusses it with us, but I typically, you know, work for the man okay. for twenty years. So, I, so what if you says... wanted to go home and he said he wants to stay? You're gonna fucking stay? Well, that, that never really was an option, was it? There wasn't that never really an option to go home. It's an option now. Well, I have to think about it, but. You know, <laughs> get back to My you. fucking gods. What? You gotta realize, I've not spoken to a single soul outside of my old crew for the past three years. All right, this is overwhelming. All right, I need a, I need a bit of time to fucking. Sure. Brooks. You can't really fault a man showing some through. loyalty to whoever got him through three years yeah, of maroon. Hey, well, it's not even that, but not everyone needs to stick their dick in whatever they can find every you know couple of days. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> well, I'm sure he'd... I think he just wanted to mock Brooks a bit. Uh, that too. Okay. I have a volleyball. Oh. Not even... I'm out. I'm out. Okay. Hey, you, can, you can fucking stay here, you We little had one go on the ship that survived. <laughs> You're dying well, right now. Should I take to, uh, to Omea then? That sounds yeah. like a wonderful yeah. idea. Beautiful. What's his name? His name? That would be uh Mr. John Mayor. <laughs> no, 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 no. Dude, he was just a sea captain before. <laughs> we call him <laughs> Cappy Mayor. Oh, we Jackson Keir is uh, is uh, is his name? Jackson Keir. Jackson Keir. Mm -hmm. Is Jackson nice here? Career. Oh, he's not here. He's oh, probably. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. Follow me. And uh, as you kind of like, you do get looked at by the rest of the town, but they've really very quickly, they're just like, they wave and they're just like, they're kind of talking among, among themselves, but no one is like giving you a death stare or anything. They're just, they're just kind of, they're, they're shocked to see people that isn't them, <laughs> really. <laughs> mm. Um, So, uh, he knocks on the door when he leads you to the house and the door swings open and you see in front of you a, a pretty tall man wearing uh like these like shorts made of just fabrics and and that they fashioned and then took sail like, sails, cloth shorts. sail cloth and that sort of thing uh he's not wearing a shirt um and he has this this bald head but very long black beard and on his back rests a great axe with uh, like a pommel 
and it has like a like a like a like an animal skull. You don't know exactly what it was, but he's it's a very big axe, and he's also like like seven foot tall. Goliath or um, you reckon so? Yeah. Well, what do we have here? Your... You shipwreck as well? No. no. Actually, what, you explorers? Came explorers? Mm. The very... Uh, yes, we're looking for some caverns in the area. Oh, uh, do you want to come in? Uh, I'll pour you a drink. I'll make a mean grog, and uh, we can we can, we can can talk about it. I'd... This oh my is... Goodness. can pull all these people's minds. I think all grog's pretty mean, to be fair. But... I... Sorry, <laughs> I'm just... I didn't expect to see people ever. Besides my old crew, to be honest. You should not think in two, in all these years, you don't think you'd eventually see a boat. No. Because you got put here. By a fucking bird. Yeah. Yeah, but he has a well, it's a big ocean. A big bird. We're the crew of the porcupine, um, which is anchored porcupine. about a mile porcupine. off shore. And, I don't think, uh, think they were going to keep going around the island. Oh, right. No, you're right. Yeah, they're circling around. All right. Well, we'll come in and uh, I'll pour you a drink and you can, you can talk to me about this porcupine that you're sailing. Um, wow. That's a weird image. <laughs> it is a bit, isn't it? <laughs> right. Um, yeah. My name's uh, Jackson. Uh, I, I I used to be captain of this crew, but now I'm their mayor, I suppose. So I, I you know, still lead them. Um we, uh, I'm sure the boys will have told you a little bit about how we got here. Um, shit. All right. Fuck. I'm sorry. I need to kind of collect myself. It's been it's been a long time since I last had the pleasure to converse with someone that wasn't one of my men. That's what's your what names? The fish tell us. What's your names? What are you doing here? And he's got he like pulls out a few mugs and and pours some uh, questionable looking liquid in it and puts it in front of you and he t pours it off himself as well and just gulps it. When I sniff it, does it smell like jet fuel? Pretty much. Or... <laughs> Is it like fucking island fruit moonshine? Pretty much, yeah. It's, Not nice. fruit. it's, just, it's like made of... <sighs> I don't know, man. It's hard to describe. Like bark and shit like that. Yeah. Oh, it's it's bark. It's like they they, fr oh, they exactly. found one like poisonous fucking plant on the island. They were like, we can make this. It's, it's literally the like, I, I will do the, the sort of standards, like to have like a smallest sip. Wait till he turns his fucking back. Chuck it. Oh, yes. Yeah, really <laughs> Just like. Right. Um, so yeah, I'll what's, drink uh, it. what's, I'll what's, drink. What, what are you doing here? What's your name? What's your story? <sighs> I am a Lesbian Julius from Old Dunbar. That's a uh, name. We're the ragtag fuckwits. Rag we're not the ragtag. Um, no, we're not. <laughs> that's like not it. our name. And not we go name. around. Um, not our name. That's not what we're called. I'm telling you now, that's not what we're called. We're, Gathering we're, treasure, mostly. We're for hire, and we're looking for something on the island, and that's about all it comes down to. All right. Well, what are you looking for? Anything I can help you with? Uh, we're looking for maybe some underground caverns, maybe underwater. Really. Maybe anything that might see seem... any waterfalls or lakes around here. I mean, there's a waterfall. Besides uh, the big, yeah, 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 that yeah. one. Is that one? Uh, like is there a big... cavern behind there? Do you know? I've you never been. Really go there. It's, uh... We don't really tend to go outside our village much, except for like the shoreline, because um, I mean, let's just say that the crew we had. There were more of us, but a couple of them went out to kind of explore, and they haven't come back. So we decided at that point we just, uh, you know, stick right here. It's safe. It's mm. not a bad policy. You know, we don't go into the territory of whatever the fuck took them, and they don't come to us. It seems it's been what two or three winters. Well, so. maybe they've found a way off the island. They would have told us, surely. <laughs> well, some people aren't, you know, the most trustworthy. You reckon they were mutineers? Maybe it was one way. Betrayers? Yes, could be mutineers, absolutely. Or it was one way and they can't get back. Hmm. Could be that. 
Where did they also never stand let's, let's be real, they probably died. <laughs> right? Let's not fucking beat it out of the bush. They probably died. Uh, there's a one way trip probably. somewhere. Depends on your religion. Or so. Right. Um, uh, so I, I don't really have any information on, on, on that front, but um, I mean, well, maybe I do actually. Um, this, you don't have to tell me what you're looking for, right? You just, and if I'm digging too deep, you can just tell me to stop. Uh, this, uh, is it an item or a person you're looking for, first of all? Both. Both. It's a person with an item. Right. We want the item. Any religious, um... You could say that. Ties. Yeah. Between this item and the uh, person. And... Sort of. You could make that inference. All right. Sometimes, it doesn't happen often, but sometimes, every uh, few months or so, we hear some, like, sounds coming from uh, that waterfall, actually. Um, <laughs> almost sounds like, um, uh, like, like chanting, humming, kind of. <laughs> So, that's a good point to start, I guess. You never thought maybe to check it out and see if you Fuck weren't no. alone on this island? No, right. You Stop. never thought maybe. to see if it was just... Staying know, right here, fishing up what we can fish up, and living right here has kept us alive so far. So I don't blame you. That sounds like some fucking terrifying bad juju shit. Yeah, well, yeah, there's always we, 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 stuff. We're okay at fighting, right? Uh, we, 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 listen, when we were a ship, we weren't necessarily a trade vessel, let's say. We... Everybody does, you're a pirate. Yeah. So, Don't worry. We're not the law. Don't we? Yeah. We're, I'm so, actually you know, wanted like fighting, to... You know, ship, ship combat and uh, fighting other people. Sure. Oof. Fucking with that shit. That's a one-way trip to the hells, if you ask me. So I'm, I'm, I'm good. Thanks. Is there like a, a pirate secret handshake, Jax? If there was, we wouldn't show it to you. Oh come on! Well, We're I'm just saying. Now. Uh, there is one actually. It kind of goes like this. Ah! <laughs> Well, I guess you don't fucking want something to drink other than fucking grog then. Oh, listen, I was just playing around, all right? You just fucking relax, <laughs> Jesus. No need to get your panties in a bunch. I'll pull a fucking bottle of the honey mead out from my bag. <laughs> the orange honey mead out from my bag. <laughs> just... It's gone. Oh my god, this is good. I should fucking hope so, I made I just, it. <laughs> I just give them a ration pack. <laughs> like, for our... And he's also well, they're not like starving. No, but no, but they've had nothing but fish. 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 <laughs> yeah, but fish What's is fire, like, dude. Like fruits and nuts yeah, and, and all that. You you change it. You change your diet a tiny bit. It's like the best thing ever. You know. Also, isn't it like if you have too much fish, then you like get mercury poisoning? <laughs> no, no, bad. that's that, in the no, real that, world where the real world where we have the problems, sea with mercury. Yeah. <laughs> How true. Yeah. True. This is fantasy world where we haven't destroyed the sea. Right. Yeah. Fish don't naturally. Fish don't have innately yeah. just have mercury. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the right. years well, and years of chemical dumping uh, into the ocean. Are no. You gonna, are you are you gonna head off right away? Do you want to stay? I don't know for dinner. We've got some pretty big, sizable fish that we're uh, spit roasting right now above the fire. If you want to uh, stay for a bite, we can hang around and. Well, you know, once before we, we get. Uh, well, if you guys want to stay, I can do some recon on the island. You are not going by yourself. And oh, could have sent Onu, but he's a fucking well, octopus what I'm now. Is uh, I'll take Kess with me. Maybe that's maybe the worst would... choice. What time of day is it right now? Don't Why? You? We like, can both. Uh, you, got, early afternoon. you got to like the rowboat part at about noon. So yeah, it's just like early afternoon now. It You know, it might be worth exploring a little ways away and coming back and maybe spending the night here. Yeah, me and Kess can uh, go invisible. No one will see us. Oh, we'll go invisible, thank you. You can come too then. Grouchy. I just Aww. don't like you. Stay. You know you two... You pretend to get eaten by a shark one time, and then you know everyone's you two... angry. You two can go invisible, right, but you won't be able to see each other. Then I so... suggest uh, tonight, after you're done with your recon, uh, I invite you in my home. We'll have dinner. And uh, you know, get you ready for uh, you know, uh, you can you can sleep here. There's, it's, you have you do know. you have like 
I don't know. I don't have any beds, but do you have any? I don't know. Uh, bed bed rolls or something. And all that. Yeah. yeah. You can just chuck them on the floor here and uh, use this as uh, your residence for the night. And then tomorrow morning, it, quite early, it, you can. Oh, can I insight check him? Yeah, of course. It's only fish, right? It's not like. They're going to rob us in our sleep. It's not long pork or anything, is it? It's just fish. Make an insight check. What are you insight checking for, first of all? I just feel like. Necessary. I feel like I, maybe I don't want to sleep on a bedroll in this guy's house. Like, I don't Not know, man. Like, what are you, what are you looking for? I like feel like maybe he's got discern. ulterior motives. Maybe they'll cut our fucking throats in our sleep, take our rowboats and dip, you know? Nice like, to us and get on the ship. <laughs> he's too nice to be trustworthy. He's fishing for shadiness, I guess. Yeah, he's like, oh, yeah. So oh, you're trying to see if you can sleep. tell that there's that this guy has some kind of agenda ulterior motive. yes okay sure but i rolled really bad i rolled seven <laughs> so uh you can tell that he's definitely like very nice uh partially because like this is the first time he's seen other faces than the ones he's been stuck with the past three years uh Jesus. but you at the same time you can also read that i mean probably kind of sick of living on a fucking island, you know? Yeah. So he's well, definitely, you know, you can tell that he's, he's probably trying to butter you up a little bit, or at least that's the the, 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 the idea. But not drive. literally. No, no, you get the, no. <laughs> you get the idea that he... <laughs> he's overcompensating a little bit to ensure his... Yeah, he's, overco yeah. he's overcompensating. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, yeah. So I'm just going to put this out there in an entirely open and honest and non not trusting way mm. I would if it was me after a number of years of wanting, of being stuck on a fucking island I would want a ways out and a few of your guys mentioned that they'd want to talk to you about it and figure it out but uh -huh. just to throw it out there in case anyone gets any vibes the ship won't come back unless we're all alive so Good. Can it take us with it? Yes. If you want to come, as long as we're all yeah, alive. Yeah, I've seen about three years in this island, and I'm I'm good. I'm good. I respect that. I've not heard. You can the best see him like he's kind of like on island. His eyes are kind of like you know he's he's thinking. You promise us passage of this island. As long as none we're of us live, are yeah. the captain, so we cannot promise that. Listen, we spoke to the so. captain before we came out we here. She said captain. that we, we have room to bring you guys to back. to appeal to the captain. We have no reason not to. All right, then I'll be honest with you as well. We've dabbled in cannibalism. No. <laughs> Thank gods, no. We are supposed to let the person you're looking for know when people arrive on this island, but I don't want to. He's a dickhead. He could, and I was supposed to, you know, what's going to happen is, right, we've got to think of a plan because they know you're here. 100%. Yeah. So us not reporting to them that you're here is going to get us all killed. But you want to get into their lair, right? That's what you want? Mm-hmm. Mm because what they do when we alert, because you're not the first people, right? It was weird that three years no people, I thought it was. You were not the first people. Be right. What happens when we alert them is their henchmen, they, these, these weird fish-like bipedal cunts come in, a fucking army of them, like 60 of them, shackle them up, take them to their lair, which is where you want to be. So you'll be imprisoned, but surely with that information, there, you'll, you'll be able to, you know, you're in there, you just have to break out and get your shit back. But, you know, it's a way in that doesn't get us killed, and you look capable. I mean, can't you... Do they do they tend to search the people that they come and collect, or do they just leave it to you to take their shit no, off? That's not, that's not my job. I just tell people, I just tell them, hey, people rocked up. That's it. Well, can't you, you say... Know they and I see, they know they come, they shackle them up, and they take them with them. That's all I, that's all I see. Okay. Can't you say that you saw people rock up, but not which way they went, as we wander off? 
Well, this well, is the discussion. Your what, job. what what the mayor slash captain is proposing is that by well, if you want you want it, to get in, right? That's what I'm saying. Look, I, I could tell them, and they'll come. They'll pick you up. Maybe. And then I, I can I can hide in my little hidey hole, and then when there's no one around, I can come out and unlock your shackles. Just want to... Well, if that's a thing you can do, that's great. Oh, that, but... Yes, but how are you going to carry it though, Kess? Because if they take off everything, I just oh. put like like. I mean, the thing. Kess she... goes in the on, vessel. Hold on, hold on. I've got a fucking. I've got. Listen. I'm a bitch. How does that work? The the thing where I yeah, disappear? you say you can hide in something. How does that work? I just disappear into it, and then I can come out. But in what is it? Like a is it a jug? Is it a cape? Is it what like is a it? tiny little necklace? All right. If they do search you for your belongings, right, they'll probably pile it up in the same room, right? She pops up in that room when she gets out, takes all your shit. You have lockpicks or anything? She can turn yeah, invisible. Of I she do. turns invisible, frees you, takes you to your shit. Boom, you're inside with all your gear. Yeah, easy. Uh, yeah, that was what she was suggesting. I just really don't want to fucking die, and I need to tell them something. That's what I'm saying. You. Like, it'd be great, yes. We, I'd rather just not get captured, to be fair. Oh, that's I good. I that's that's, there's worse things yeah, than being put in I, prison. Yeah. Not being put and in prison. Also, I think that's Shackles are fine as long as it's consensual. And it's not, be not, not what I, I meant. Like, Shut no. the fuck up. I mean, as long as we're allowing ourselves to get captured, that's preferable to you being know. captured without a plan. I was going to say, I can also get us out of whatever prison they put us in. We we have multiple options to get out of being shackled. I can vouch well myself into an ant and just be too big for the shackles and then poof, I'm good. See? There's That's so many so options. This is, the, this is our best chance of getting in without having to fight our way in. It's it, mm -hmm. Do we want to have to fight our way in or do we want to have to fight our way out? Because those are our options. You know, I'm always usually a bigger See, my, my issue here is, right, like, I, I get you, right, Mr. What was it? Long name? But Mr. Lazarus, Lazarus the thing is, Julius I'm supposed Dunbar. to not allow you to leave this village, right? So if I allow you to leave and tell them, oh, yeah, they fucking went, I don't know how they'll react. You, you have to stay here in the compounds of this village. So that's why I'm kind of adamant that you that, that I tell them that you're here and you get collected because that is the that I, I know for a fact that that won't get me or my people That's killed. It. And I mean, if we get captured, they get lulled into a false sense of security allowed, that we've you, already been contained. If I allowed you to leave the village and tell them oh they went to the fucking they went to explore, I I don't know how they'll react, you know? Will they kill me? Will they kill my men? I, I don't want to take. Well, you didn't risk. explain that to Pit at first. You just sort of said. I did. Either, either way, way. That, and I'm sorry. All right, I just wanted to clarify it now. So, but no, that's Who's fair the... enough. Now I know that. Yes, we probably killed ourselves. Who the fuck are these people? The fucking caves. Who the fuck are these people that were getting detained by in the first place? Uh, uh, mm -hmm. These these big fuck off bipedal fish men. Um, I hey. shoot a glance at Celeste. Like like Triton, <laughs> no, or... not, not like her. <laughs> Uh, she's a dragon, like, like I'm assuming. Actual but... fish people. Like actual, you know, like gills and spiky bits. Like Naga or Murlocs no, or... No, they're, um... Oh, oh, they're like oh, troglodytes. No, no, no. Well, uh, Sahagins. Like reverse yeah, mermaids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that one. Yes. Right. Sahagins, right. That reverse one. mermaids. And they, uh, I mean, I'm, I, the guy that I, you know... We're only here and alive because the bitch queen allows us to, in exchange for making sure that we act as, you know, a warning signal whenever people reach this little lair that they have here. We for cross sure her, to the name. we cross her and we fucking die. So I'm really trying to, I want to help you because you've just promised me a way off this fucking shithole. That's what, that's the only reason why I'm telling you this. You get me and my men off in exchange for, you know, this information. That's a deal we struck, right? Is that before or after dinner? <laughs> Is he always like this? Anyways. Yes. yes. I feel bad for you. Well, thank at you. least I don't jump off ships. Okay. I 
That was funny. <laughs> and you can't tell me that it wasn't. How long will it take you to message these? Just because you've ruined uh, your suit. Okay, I'll next to send time one of my men, I will warn uh, you. Out, and, I don't know, they'll come back. It's about a, a couple hours trek, so I don't know, by, by nightfall probably. And how long does it usually take them to come here? Do they follow straight away or usually? Uh, they follow straight away pretty much, yeah. So they'll, they'll okay. if I send one of my men out, you know, now, at nightfall. So you, you said we're not the first. Uh-huh. What became of the first? I haven't seen them since. Yeah. But you didn't think, you know, similar similar situation to this, you didn't think you'd help them out maybe? Or did you? Well, you kind of gave me the way off this island on a silver fucking platter, so I didn't really think twice. But uh, didn't they? Oh, uh, I mean, I think you're, you're like the fifth group of people that that come ashore here in the past two or three years and most of them are pirates and they're just bloody dickheads to throw on the loot so I don't really feel bad you know I'm surprised fucking... there wasn't more people who got um grabbed by a uh, bird and jumped oh I'm still a bit oh I've lost 20 in that way I guess hmm. well I'm convinced that it's just the wrong place wrong time maybe nesting season it... of the sky titans and all that if we're going to do this. Do you need us to act as if we don't know what's about to happen? Well, I want you to fucking deck me. Just fucking let me have it. Yeah, if that's convincing enough. Just get get pissed. I, yeah. Him or me or I mean, I'm a big guy. Well, I, can, I can take a bit, bit of a beating. So, like, well, no. All I'm merely suggesting. Yes, we need to act like we had no idea we were getting captured. Yes. Bingo. And that's fine. I was planning on. Stop killing me. Spell. No, no, I was planning on spell work that I would usually use for rest. But. I think it might cause more hassle. Yeah, I think you're right. Usually, uh, create a little Listen. protection for ourselves at night, and it would save us all day. But, um. Mm. They'd probably won't be too pleased with you. Just. You know, play along. I, I'm. Sh you look capable. I mean, you've come. Here, you're saying you're coming here because you want to get into the place anyway. So that means you, you know, you're gonna be fighting some fucked shit, right? You came prepared for a fight like that. I'm assuming. Yeah, we're pretty good. Right. So that. So surely, you know, just playing along wouldn't be that big of a deal because you'll you'll be fine. You'll fight your way out of that shit all. Right. Yeah. I, I appreciate you, the faith you have in us, you know. I just really want to get off this island. And you seem like my only chance, to be honest. Well then, shall we uh throw some food as we can, shall we? I suppose send your men then. Well do you wanna get punched now or later? Like do you wanna give the bruise time to come in or Oh shit, later. 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 Okay, yeah, it's all okay. later. Will I fight back? Make it interesting? Sure. Oh, yeah. I'm down for that. What's oh, the um, climate I'm like so on sad I can't see this. Huh? No, wait, don't. What's the climate like on this island? Is it uh, fucking hot? Yeah, it's warm. It's um, sweaty. It's, I would say tropical, but there's no fucking trees or anything. But it's definitely yeah, like yeah. a... You know, like a Canary yeah. Island type type vibe, you know, Ooh, like pretty oh, dry, that really, like, dry, dry heat. heat. Yeah. Oh. I will, uh, despite it anyway, I will ritual cast fucking Lehman's Tiny Heart just so it's a nice cool area. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's like slightly <laughs> shaded. That, like, I'll let the group in, not anyone else. <laughs> Fuck the Smart. other guy. Smart. But not. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> fair. And I'll be up for eight hours. All right. Um,. So with that plan made, you uh, we'll, we'll pick this up next time. I think where uh, you know hey. you're just kind of spending some time, hey. so you can discuss the plan a little more next time before it actually happens. And then I guess it's time to get arrested by the fish police. <laughs> mm. Ah, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, it was cool. yeah. Hell yeah. Fish police. Oh. Thanks fish everybody police. for watching for being here. We appreciate oh. you. We're going to get the frick out of here.
Divinity tomorrow. Yeah, I'm down. Hell yeah. yeah. Tomorrow will be like Hell a yeah, dude. I'm so down. Inch Shut closer. Up. Yeah, we're uh, I, We have Soko as like a stand in Divinity key. <laughs> And then, uh, we, can't make we it. still haven't done the big group discourse yet, but I feel like at this point, you know, fuck it, whatever. Um, I feel like next week's gonna be bad for availability. Week, yeah. Exactly. Wednesday is my only I'm day off. So Thursday, uh, company. who wants to be, who hasn't been on Discord in a while? Yeah, All right. None of us. I was on the last one, so. Pretty sure, right? Was that the last I mean, one? I only have Wednesday off this week, so that's I will be at, at London. Pretty sure. Whoop. Uh, London. Do we have London? Uh, so does mean does that, does that mean Bell's also not available? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Unless we do it together. <laughs> Flames, are you there as well? Just in oh, my flat. Okay. Yeah. Every time you give a stupid answer, I can hit you. Koiba, can you do Thursday? I can do Thursday. Uh, OSG. Yeah, OSG? I got time. Oh yeah, let's do that then. Fuck I got it. time. We'll have a we'll have a Koiba OSG hey. on this course. Beautiful. Yeah. Right, everybody, thanks so much for being here. We appreciate you. Catch you tomorrow for Divinity. Have a good night. Take care. Brush your hair. Catch you next time. Bye bye. Du -du -du -dum. Bom, bom, bom. You gone? Bom, bom, bom. Bom, bom, bom. Du -du 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 -dum. Now, slowly, like, fade out. Just like. <laughs>